<laughs> What's up, party people? How's everybody doing? I was doing a thing. Um, hope everybody's having a beautiful day. We're going to have a conversation this morning. Um, real quick, there's a couple of things I want to talk about. We're talking about everything in the title. Uh, ex it, also, we're talking about Danny Masterson. I got some stuff to say about them. I want to talk about USA with the thing that Dylan Brooks just did. And I want to talk about the fact that Gunner was in the Barclays the other day. I forgot what the other, <laughs> I forgot what the other <laughs> thing in the title was. But um, when some people come in here, I'll ask them. So now I'm going to bullshit for a minute because I want to give you an opportunity to get into the chat. I want to say something real quick. So the other day, somebody said that they told somebody I was the police and something about, I don't know what that's about. But I want you to go look up what BBN has been doing since BBN started. Do you know how many gang members I've done interview? Do you know how many actual killers I've done interview? Do you know how many drug dealers I have interviewed? And not one of them have ever caught problems with the police. I'm going to say that again. Do you know how many, you're, all right. Do you know how many gang members I've done interviewed? Do you know how many killers I've done interviewed? I've literally interviewed killers that we know is killers because they got caught. <laughs> Do you know how many gang members I've interviewed? Do you know how many killers I've interviewed? And the, no police have never come knocking on them niggas door. Never. So I want to, I want to make something clear. Do you know how many gang members I've interviewed and helped to rehabilitate their fucking public image that allow for them now to get on the internet and be able to do their shit and make money? So I know I'm talking, right? And I know people don't get it. But yes, 100%, the number one thing I tell every single person is, I don't want to get involved with any of your crimes. So I don't want to know about no crimes. I don't want to see no crimes. If something is a crime, I don't want to be a part of it. I actively ask these people to not tell me about crimes. When I interview people, I don't ask them about crimes. Good morning, my brother. All right. When I interview people, I don't ask them about crimes. I don't ask them about crimes that they did, that they got away with. I don't ask them about crimes that they didn't get away with. That's not what we talk about. When I interview somebody, especially if you're from the street culture, we're trying to have an interview and talk about why the kids got to do different than what you did. We're not trying to have an interview talking about the crimes you committed. We're not trying to have an interview talking about how bad you is in the street or the niggas you killed. We don't care about none of that. We're trying to have an interview so we can explain to the kids why they need to take a better path. So with that being said, just so we could be clear, just go look at our, let's call it a discography. Just go look at my discography, if that's the way you want to put it. I done interviewed some of the some of the most killerness, drug dealerness. <laughs> no, those are not words. Niggas in New York City, fam. And not one of them have ever come back and said that they caught problems with the police due to me. So if you believe I'm bringing the police down on you after I've done interview niggas 12 times tougher than you, after I done interview niggas that committed way more crimes than you've committed. <coughs> After I done interview niggas, the police actually want. And you still think I'm somebody out here getting niggas caught up with the cops? Then that's on you, fam. Everybody forget, when we first started doing interviews over here, we was interviewing the first five bloods from New York City. Now look at this dude. When we first started doing interviews over here, we was interviewing the first Bloods, the New York City Bloods. Y'all forget about that? None of them niggas had a platform. Most regular people didn't even know who they were. Not one of them caught any cases or any problems from talking to me. Copy? After that, we interviewed a ton of other drug dealers and gang members and all that other shit. Ain't nobody never caught no problems interviewing with me, fam. I don't even ask those questions. I just want to be clear on this. I just want to be clear on this. Good morning. All right. Good morning. Hey, what's up, OG? You doing good? You going live? Yes, ma'am. Y'all want to say yeah? No, no, no. Okay. Okay. I'm not trying to force nothing. Enjoy your day. <laughs> yeah, so... So... I done interviewed some of the biggest drug dealers, some of the biggest gang members in New York fucking city. And not one of them never caught problems with the fucking police. So please don't come out here trying to pretend like I'm trying to get niggas caught up. Because that's factually wrong. Factually. 
I interviewed the niggas from fucking 9-5, the first bloods in New York City, fam. Morning. 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 Top and top, baby. All right. I interviewed the first bloods in New York City. Those is my bros. So stop it, fam. We ain't even on it like that. We out here trying to... If you got a story to tell, and we could tell it in a way to encourage the children to do better without getting you caught up, come talk to me. Other than that, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk to nobody that's trying to talk about the crimes they're actively committing. I don't know to know about how you hating on another nigga. I don't know how about, I don't want to know about none of that. None of that is doing God's word. I just want to be clear on this and I got to make this clear. Because somebody said, I'm, yes. Now, could I say something real quick? You want to know why? If you come start trouble with me, I'm just going to let you deal with the police. Tax stone. I'm going to say it again. You want to know why? If you start trouble with me, I'm just going to let you deal with the police. Tax stone. Before the situation happened with tax stone, we was on the internet. When it, around the time the situation happened, we was, we was new to the internet. Just so we could be clear. I saw the way academics was moving. So I just want to be clear on this. I don't got no problems with nobody. I don't want any problems with anyone. I'm not out here to try to show anybody I'm the baddest. I'm not out here to do none of that, fam. I don't care about none of that. What I am out here to do is give content that y'all hopefully enjoy, y'all like, y'all laugh to. Give content that you might learn a thing from. Give a content that y'all enjoy. If you got a story worth telling, even if it ain't really that worth telling, if you interested and funny, come holla at me. Morning, my brother. All right. So that's it. All right. Have a blessed day. So that's the type of time I'm on. And I want to be clear about this. Ain't nobody never get caught up fucking with the BBN, fam. But think about all of those other platforms niggas get caught up fucking with. Ain't nobody. I and mean, when we get to the spot, I'm going to get to the show. But ain't nobody never get fucked up talking to the BBN, fam. Ain't no fucking Rico ever started. Ain't no fucking criminal charges ever was put against nobody. The police never looked at nobody over here. Why? Because I know how to do it, fam. I saw a fucking interview done by some other idiot. I'm not calling myself an idiot, even though I use the word other. <laughs> I saw interviews just in general being done by other people. And the questions y'all asking these niggas is like y'all trying to get a Rico started, fam. Y'all busy going and talking to niggas that don't even know nothing about the law. They asking y'all questions that is reasons for the police to look into your life. Now that's what I'm going to say. So y'all do what y'all want to do. That's a fact. I interview gang member after gang member, drug dealer after drug dealer. Not one of them ever was looked at from the police. Matter of fact, ain't none of them niggas ever get looked at from the police after I stopped dealing with them. I just want to be clear on this. Because there's a narrative out there, because as always, they're trying to get me killed. So there's a narrative out there that a nigga's trying to get... No, nigga, why would I try to get somebody caught up with... We're not wishing jail or death on nobody, fam. Do some niggas need to go, go the way of the dinosaur? Obviously. Got a lot of weirdos out here, though. But we're not doing that. You yeah. But we not doing that, fam. We doing zero of that. I'm out here, I'm trying to bring a little bit of the community, bring the community y'all guys. I'm terrible with time right now. I'm going through my own fucking depression. I don't make it to places on time. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta tighten up, that's a fact. But nah, my nigga, we ain't giving it up like that. We ain't on that type of time. Just so we could be clear. We ain't on that type of time. Imagine a nigga saying the dude is trying to get niggas caught up with the police that done interviewed 10, 20, 30 fucking gang members, drug dealers, and killers, and they not one of them ever get in trouble with the police. Imagine that shit. 
How could that even be something you believe, fam? Everybody I interview is still out here walking the streets, getting to the bag. The fuck is y'all niggas talking about? Stop believing everything you hear. These dudes literally sit in the room and devise what kind of lies they gonna tell. Stop believing everything you hear, fam. Go ask them who I got caught up and who I got sent to jail. They gonna say zero people. If I could sit up in fucking, I'm not even gonna say what state I was in, but if I could sit up in fucking jail for fucking like three, four months for some shit that I didn't do, cause I don't wanna snitch on another nigga, I could come out here and do a fucking YouTube, and I'm not saying the other guy did a crime. I could come out here and do YouTube without telling on a nigga. The fuck? And fuck that state. Because if I didn't catch bail, they would. It, my fucking case was two, was four years away, bitch ass niggas. If I didn't catch bail, I would have been sitting in there for four years for nothing. Shout out to my aunt that put her house up. That's how I got out. Shout out to my aunt. She put her house up for me. And a couple of other family members did some other shit. Put they shit put so shout out to them for doing that. I appreciate that. I'm always gonna love y'all for that. Even if I can't fuck with y'all for other shit, I'm always gonna love you for that. That's a fact. Thinking about getting a coffee. I'm gonna wake. I'm thinking about should I go get a cheap coffee? <laughs> I don't wanna spend four dollars for a fucking coffee, fam. <laughs> I don't wanna spend four dollars for a fucking coffee for Dunkin' Donuts. So I'm thinking, should I go to the, but when you go to the regular stores to get the coffee, everybody touches the milk and everybody touches the sugar. You don't know where niggas hands been. <laughs> That's some real shit, fam. So for all the people that think that I'm talking to the cops, trying to get people caught up, even though history proves different, it is what it is. Do you, fam. Do you. Y'all think real niggas is ignorant and stupid. Some real niggas is smart. You know what real niggas is? It's just keeping it real with who you are, fam. You know what a fake nigga is? A dude acting like he's somebody he not. That's what a real nigga and a fake nigga is. Y'all turn this real nigga, fake nigga in. You only a real nigga if you ready to go to jail and die for no reason. What the fuck? You only a real nigga if you on the streets causing problems what the fuck you know how many real niggas is just fathers and just husbands this shit is crooked hold on <laughs> give me a second i gotta see why this shit is crooked there we go that should fix it right a little bit more. the hell good morning the hell give me, give me one second ah shit I ain't not. That's fine. Let's talk about our shit now, fam. Let's get to our show. I hope, hope everybody's having a beautiful morning. We 13 minutes in. Shout out to Florida State Bully Salute. Very happy to have you this morning. Somebody put the cash app in the chat. Let's see if we can get some participation this Sunday morning. Let's get to the show. First thing I want to say is this. I want to talk about the NBA, the uh, FIBA shit. But I don't want to get to that first. I want to talk about this gunner shit first. So Gunner pulls up into uh he's at the Barclays. He has a show at the Barclays. I want to say something. This is the point that I be trying to make when y'all be talking about these rappers and all this snitching, all this other shit. Gunner was never like that, fam. He was just a regular dude that niggas decided to work with to make money off of. What's up, my brother? Morning. Gunner was just a regular dude that they decided to make money off of. They brought him into the camp. He was supposed to make money for the camp. Shit went sideways. I'm going to tell you what the problem is. If you know the nigga's a regular nigga, he ain't built like that. Why y'all giving him responsibilities inside of the gang, fam? I'm not going to call out a name or two. But I do want y'all to understand something. There's a ton of rappers that are involved in gangs, but they're not involved in the gang activity. You get what I'm saying? So when the police pull up, 
the police can't never point at the rappers and say lock them up too. Y'all know that, right? I don't know how many people know that. Because I know a lot of y'all just think every rapper, when they get involved with the street life and the gang life, they out there doing what these other niggas is doing. Some of these niggas don't even rap about gang shit. Y'all wouldn't know that, though. Because y'all because they busy trying to keep everybody ignorant. So you wouldn't know that. So this is what I got to say about the Gunner situation. They knew for a fact, because they know Gunner. They knew for a fact he wasn't on that type of time, fam. There's a reason why, and this is the main number one thing I tell people when I'm about to interview them, or when I'm in their Congress, when I'm in their, when I'm in their area, just in general, I don't want you to tell me about no crimes. I don't want to know about no crimes because I know y'all niggas got dudes that's with y'all that's either snitching or about to snitch. So I don't want to know about nothing. You get it? I'm already not going to snitch. I just don't want to go to jail with you niggas. You get it? What's up, OG? How you doing this morning? All right? All right? Yeah, I don't want to go to jail with you niggas. Because I'm not, I already know I'm not going to snitch. I was sitting up in jail for months with some stuff I don't even know nothing about. That's what I'm saying. But that's not the point. <laughs> oh man have a blessed morning all right all right so when i'm what i'm trying to explain is this gunner should have never been in that situation that he was in Y'all need to stop trying to lock niggas in so y'all can control them. Because that's what all of that shit is about. Y'all find a nigga that's getting to the bag. Y'all trying to lock the nigga in so y'all can control him. What y'all don't really understand is a lot of these niggas you don't got to do that with. A lot of these niggas is just cool hanging out. A lot of these dudes is just fucking with y'all because they really fuck with y'all. And it's not because you a killer. It's not because you this. It's not because you that. Some of the most charismatic, coolest niggas I've ever met in my life is in the street, fam. Some of the most honorable niggas I've ever met in my life don't have nothing. You understand? Some of the most honorable people I've ever met in my life is walking around living from check to check. That's what I mean by don't have nothing. They're walking around living from check to check. Some of the most honorable people I ever met, fam. People that you could fucking, that, that you could put your, their, your life in their hands. They living from check to check. Some of the most disgusting people I've ever met in my life, they don't want for nothing. So y'all getting with these rappers, and we're going to use Takashi 6 9 as an example. Y'all getting with these rappers, and I'm going to explain why we're using them as an example in two seconds. We're about to get off this topic and move to the next one. Y'all getting with these rappers, and y'all trying to make it so that they feel like they are part of the gang so y'all can keep control of their money. Well, you don't really need to do that. These dudes is trying to live their rap career dreams, fam. All you got to do is stand there beside them and let them live their rap career dreams. You don't have to bring them into the criminality. And nine times out of ten, if you don't never shit on them, they're going to stay right there and they're going to keep feeding the fucking, feeding the wolves. And even if they aren't going to feed the wolves indefinitely. Good morning. And even if they aren't going to feed the wolves indefinitely, you probably got them for like two to three years. Four years. That's enough time to get some money and put something together. The real reason why people not mad at Gunner for snitching, I'm going to say it. Because nobody thought Gunner was like that. And people are looking at YSL like, you know what? You guys fucked up. 
because you guys wasn't supposed to put him in a position where he calling niggas up telling niggas to do hits where he calling niggas up telling them that they fucked up what the hell are you got gunner doing that for fam y'all don't got little baby running around like that do y'all no Real shit, fam. I don't got a cat. That's why I started the show telling y'all about how these niggas get people caught up. I keep trying to tell y'all that. And I haven't been wrong yet. These dudes get people caught up, fam. They go, and, and, and when we're talking about the uh, content creators, they ask y'all questions that open up investigations. Y'all seen interviews with me where somebody is about to say something without me even asking a question and i'm trying to shut it down because i'm telling them you're about to open up an investigation on yourself we've done did those interviews now just so we could be clear i'm a content creator fam i can't be on the internet throwing threats at people and shit like that and having beef with people so when you pull up to me with smoke you're gonna talk to the police I'm not going to be tax stone. Tax stone is in the situation he's in for two reasons, in my opinion. The first reason is 700 fucking tweets and Instagram posts, which I don't believe was all his idea. And that's the reason why I'm always so lenient on tax stone in this situation. I don't believe those things was his idea. I believe he had homies that was beefing with Troy Yav that don't like Troy Yav. Troy Yav is not liked, fam. I like Troy Yav. He's cool. I think he's cool. But Troy Yav is not liked, fam. The hip-hop community in New York City do not like Troy Yav. And when he says his jealousy, I can't even argue with him because I don't know why they don't like him. I got to assume he's telling the truth. Maybe it is jealousy. What the fuck do I know? What up, man? Yeah, what up, 27? Yeah, good morning. All right. Yeah, like, what the fuck do I know? Maybe it is jealousy. I have no idea why people are so mad at him. They skipped the line. I was just about to say that. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah, he skipped the line. That's a fact. <laughs> Good morning. He skipped the line. That's a fact. But the point in which, and that's jealousy, right? Just like Obama skipped the line. And that's why freaking, um, what's her name was so pissed at him. And then y'all gave her a pass. And y'all was cool with her later. So I don't get that. You know, that was some racist shit. The whole Hillary Clinton thing. When Obama got elected and she started fucking crying. Talking about he, that he freaking um, um, skipped the line. Y'all forget that that happened? Because y'all voted for the bitch the next time she ran. She just happened to lose. Everybody forgets that that happened. Hillary Clinton was pissed off when Obama got elected because she said he skipped the line because it was her turn. They released the audio. So I, we should all know this. Morning, my brother. Like the hat, fam. It's the right colors. <laughs> you got the same. We got the same colors, hat swords. <laughs> we twins. Is. Um. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not even gonna. I know who's mad at him, fam. I literally. I'm not gonna go crazy with it, because you know, fuck it. But I know who are the people. Who are most likely contacting Tax Stone? Tax Stone should have interviewed with me. He just don't know. People are calling these individuals and sabotaging them from interviewing with me. They're not as smart as me, fam. I'm way smarter than them. The interview would be better. That's a factual statement. Tw Morning, my brother. I was trying to get, 
I know. I was trying to get that guy this time. <laughs> I was trying to get the Asian dude. Good morning, my brother. All right. 20, he said, I just saw his. <laughs> I said, I was trying to, get, trying to get the other guy. Uh, 27 said, <laughs> I just really be thinking everything is funny. Really, for real, for real. Like, I don't, I try not to get upset. Like, that was not nothing to get upset over. But I generally think a lot of things that happen in my life is funny. I'm going to tell y'all a story yesterday. I think some chick tried to pick me up, but I was so busy trying to get away from the supermarket that I didn't realize it until I was like halfway home. Anyway, that's a whole nother story. We're going to talk about that. Jealousy, envy, hate. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think this was all tax stone doing. You understand? From the information that I... From the information that I have, that's not the... It's not all... Like, tax stone wasn't just waking up saying, I'm going to tweet out. You understand? From the information I have, he was being contacted. And people was like, yo, you see what this nigga doing? And they was just hating. And then tax and then tax on the tweet out or whatever the case he, or, or after the fact. Super cutie. I had a, a wild dream last night, and my dreams do be. I'll be quiet. Hey, I already know who was the main nigga mad at Troy Yav. I know who the main niggas mad at Troy Yav, and they didn't show up in the courtroom. If I was tax on, I wouldn't fuck with them niggas. I mean, he ain't getting out no time soon. I work on my appeal process. I work on getting the time cut. I work on that shit. But if I was taxed on, I wouldn't fuck with them niggas no more. Those niggas is not your bros, man. I ain't gonna call them out because I'm not gonna shit on people. Morning. But if tax on would've came and spoke to me, I would've asked them. <laughs> See why it's good to have inside information? <laughs> Morning, my brother. All right. You see why it's good to have inside information, fam? Tax no, I know what I'm talking about. The dudes that, that helped him line himself up know I know what I'm talking about, too. Good morning. When is there? Av ain't no gangster, he a hustler, and tax try to extort, extort him, and shit happens. Okay, so basically, Tax Stone was doing to Av what those people were doing to me. When they just make videos every single day talking shit. But those people aren't doing that to me because they're just doing that. Somebody is paying them to do that. You understand? Somebody is paying them. To literally come online and do that. Tax Stone was being encouraged to do that shit shit by people he considered to be his bros. But them niggas didn't even show up to the courtroom. The ones I'm talking about didn't show up to the courtroom. The ones I'm talking about didn't show up to the courtroom. That's what happened when you're moving and you're not moving with God's energy. As soon as Troy Yass start calling for the Most High's name, them niggas was fucked. That nigga had a support system, his community, and then he called for the Most High's name. He called for the Most High's help. As soon as he did that, Tax Stone was fucked. Those are just facts, fam. Yeah, I believe it was extortion because what I'm going through is extortion. You understand? If I do what they tell me to do, they'll tell them niggas to back up. But I'm not going to do what they tell me to do. I'd rather die first. So that's not happening. I'm not going to be able to live with myself. So, you know, I'm not going to live much longer after I do the thing you do anyway. So, nah, I'm not doing that. Morning. Morning All right. Have a blessed day. Yeah, so I'm not doing that. I'm not doing nothing I can't live with, man. Ever. It's not even a it's not even a question. If I can't live with it, I'm not doing it. Period. That's it. That's it. That's all. If it's something that it's gonna 
when I wake up in the morning, it's gonna it's gonna mess up my sleep or something. It's gonna I'm not doing it, and I don't care. There's nothing you can say. So, Gunners in Barclays. I'm assuming that shit was sold out. He making his money. I'm gonna tell you something else. There's not gonna be a state in the. Good morning. There might be. There ain't gonna be a state. I ain't gonna try that again. There ain't gonna be. A <laughs> I'm a funny guy. Good morning. Just so we could be clear, and I'm not trying to be a dick. Every time you see me say good morning and the people don't respond back, 100% of the time it's a black woman. I am not capping. 100% of the time. I'm not going to be like putting the camera on people to show you what the fuck I'm talking about. But 100% of the fucking time. So I don't, I don't get it. I mean, I'm just saying good morning. I'm not even trying to pick you up. Like, what the fuck? Uh, one more thing, and I'm going to move over this topic and get back to what we're talking about. You know, when I do see black women in public, even though I'm saying hi to everybody else, I kind of hesitate. <laughs> I be like, damn, should I say hi to her? Because she's going to think I'm trying to pick her up and she just might be mean to me after that. <laughs> in any regard, don't worry about it. If I say good morning or I say hi to you and you don't say nothing, you never have to worry about me talking to you again. I promise you. I'm on that time. Know your wealth. Know your own worth, fam. One of the main issues that we have out here is that people don't know their own worth. They even think that they're less than they are. They think that they're greater than they are. People don't know their own worth. If you don't, if you don't know your own worth, how could you be humble? Humble being humble is important. Good morning. All right. Being humble is important. If you don't know your own worth, how could you be humble? Have a blessed day, my brother. Appreciate you. Yeah, if you don't know your own worth, how could you be humble? You can't. You don't even know your own worth. You go holler at a shorty and she give you, like, the stink face or something like that, then leave her for them other niggas. That's it. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> um, all right, let's get back to what we're talking about. Gun is going to be able to... Good morning. Gun is going to be able to interview, I mean, to do a, a concert in any city, in any state. Anywhere Gun is booked, he's gonna be able to go work. Y'all do understand this, right? Now, do I, con I'm not with what Gunna did. I'm against what Gunna did. I just wanna be clear about this. You can't be in an organization and then when shit get tough, you tell on niggas. We are not doing that. I don't care what organization it is. I don't care what you're doing. If you notice, I don't, I'm not up here advocating for police to tell on other police. But the same people that tell you that snitching is wrong is the same people that tell you that police officers are supposed to tell on other police officers. That's snitching, ain't it? I said anything wrong? So you just don't like snitching when regular niggas is doing it, but you want the government and the police to snitch on each other all day, left and right. That sounds like hypocrisy to me. The same dudes that's talking about defunding the police is the same dudes that's complaining about crime. They're arguing both sides of the argument. That's disingenuous. You can't argue both sides of the argument, fam. Either you don't want crime to happen or you want the police to be defunded. You got to choose one. Morning. You the movie? Uh, I do a vlog. Right. Have a blessed day, my brother. All right. I, there's a police brutality issue that needs to be handled. Do not get this confused. But if you got a person who's a bad, like with the schools, hold on. Because this is something that actually happened in real life. So I'm going to explain it to you using a uh already existing uh, uh 
uh, situation. So they was talking about they was going to make the schools better. Remember when Bush said that? So they did the no child left behind thing, right? What does the no child left behind thing does? It defunds schools that aren't uh, working up to certain expectations. What did that do? That actually made our school system worse. Now you got schools that have to close down. Now you got 20, 30 fucking schools that opened up. Why? Because schools have been defunded to the point where they can't even afford to pay their taxes on their own building. Or whatever the shit is. They rent or whatever the fuck schools got to pay. They can't even afford to pay that. So they got to rent out floors in the building to other schools. To charter schools and shit like that. But you think defunding the police, so what y'all want to do? Y'all want to defund the police. Good morning. Y'all want to defund the police and then what? Open up little small police, <laughs> privately owned police in, in the cities, in, in America? We got have privately owned police everywhere. Because y'all want to defund the police. So please stop with this defund something to fix it bullshit. You got to fire niggas and you got to hire niggas. Some people need to be fired. Some people need to be hired. If you want to fix the situation, you have to change the culture. What the hell is taking money away going to do? Anything else y'all want to speak on this gunner situation 36 minutes in? We got 42 people in the room. Hit that like button. Send out some notifications. We started early today. I've been up since about, I don't know. I think I woke up late today. I've been up since about 5.30. I just woke up and started cleaning. <laughs> I woke up. I start just cleaning. I just... What? <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. We done with the gunner conversation? Y'all ready to move further? Because I don't got much to say more about the gunner conversation, so I'm ready to move on. But I just want to make sure that y'all done with this before we move to the next topic. Y'all street niggas could be cool with niggas that's not in the street. Just please stop letting civilians know about your crimes. Please stop thinking that everybody want to be a part of your crimes. Just stop doing that part. I'm a regular civilian. I don't want to be a part of none of your crimes. I don't want to know about none of your crimes. When I interview you, I don't want you to tell me about any of your crimes that you could be prosecuted for. Tell me about some shit you already did time for. I'm cool with that. Now I'm about to put you on the game for all of y'all people that don't get it. Y'all think Vlad be starting all of these investigations. Vlad don't be starting all of these investigations. The investigation already be open. They'll contact Vlad and ask Vlad could he have a conversation with a person. Good morning. They'll contact Vlad and ask Vlad could he have a conversation with a person. That's how that shit happens sometimes. The people are already on the radar. They already know why they want to pick them up. It don't even be because of something that happened on Vlad. Good morning. It don't even be because of something that happened on Vlad. I'm just putting you on the game, fam, for everybody that don't get it. Y'all be getting yourselves caught up with your Instagram. Y'all be getting yourselves caught up with your social media. Y'all be getting yourselves caught up. And then y'all go, and then y'all say something that without your Instagram and without your social media, it might mean nothing. Good morning, gentlemen. That without your Instagram and without your social media, it might mean nothing. It might just be a comment that you made. But now when you say that comment in your interview and they could go back to your Instagram and go back to your social media, you caught up, then you blame the content creator. No, nigga, it was you. 
And with that being said, stop committing crimes. <laughs> I'm always trying to explain to you how easy it is to get caught. I think that's the best way to explain why I don't want you to commit crimes. I don't want y'all guys going to jail. I don't want you guys getting locked up. I want you to be out here. We need more men out here. Do you see how our prisons is? Our prison system's just full with fucking minorities, black people specifically, fam. We only 13% of the population. Why are we such a large percent of the people in prison? Think about that, fam. All of us ain't criminals like that. Morning. All of us ain't criminals like that. You know how many people is in jail because they didn't even commit the crime, fam? I wouldn't be surprised if maybe 30 to 40% of the black people that's in jail right now is innocent. Like they didn't commit the crime. You understand? They was uh, probably a fall guy in the wrong place at the wrong time, got lied on. And this is coming from a dude that I know quite a few people that went and did 20 years and they was innocent. Shout out to Lozo. He did 25 years. He was innocent. Do you see the dude that they just brought out of the jump off? He just got let go after he did 50 or some shit like that? Niggas be innocent, fam. So that's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about snitching on a nigga. I'm not talking about getting a nigga caught up. I'm saying that we gotta work with each other so we don't gotta commit crimes. The reason why we gotta, even the people who are guilty of actual crimes that were committed, one of the main reasons why we gotta commit so many crimes is because we don't work together. So I'm on Instagram this morning. And a black guy posted something and another dude reposted it, but a black guy posted something. I'm gonna tell you the story he said. He said he pulled up, and this ain't the first time I saw this post. He said he pulled up, he had a house that was next door to him had been abandoned for some time. He said he came home, had a whole bunch of cars like in the in the in the in the um yard and shit, abandoned cars and shit. It was an abandoned house, it was it was dilapidated, it was fucked up. He said he pulled up home, it was about 6:30, 7 o'clock or some shit, and he saw some Mexicans out there, and they was like, yo. They just bought this house. Are those your cars? He was like, nah, those ain't my cars. His Mexican was like, okay, whatever. All of a sudden, the, a whole truck of Mexicans pull up. A couple trucks of Mexicans pull up with, with um, um, alcohol, with beer and everything. And they all pull up and they chilling. Nigga said he went to sleep. When he woke up the next day, the house was fully renovated and fixed. Nigga said he went to sleep and woke up and they basically took him to abandoned, dilapidated, destroyed home and rebuilt that shit in the night. We don't got that. And you say, oh, I'm just big up in Mexicans. Do you know what happens with Mormons? When a Mormon gets married, you know the whole Mormon society comes together and builds their houses, builds, right? Builds their houses, builds their barns. The whole community comes together and put the house and the barn up in a day. That's why we in prison. Because we don't work together. That's why we in prison. That's why our neighborhoods look the way they look some of the time. That's why shit be fucked up. Because we don't work together. Tell me where the lie at. I saw that shit and the dude was crying. The black dude was crying, fam. I would have went right to those Mexicans and asked them, how much do I got to pay you to do half of this shit to my crib? Would have went to the bank and if I would have had it, I would have came back with about $1,000. They going to work. <laughs> we're gonna get this shit renovated and then after if i own the home after i get the shit fixed up for that thousand dollars whatever the fuck they do i'm gonna then go and get somebody to reappraise the bitch i just gave y'all a hat 
go get yourself five six thousand dollars maybe ten thousand dollars go get yourself a couple of truck full of mexicans go have them work on your fucking crib and you go get that shit refinanced after the shit gets better because you're gonna get more money you're gonna get that shit reappraised your house is probably worth two hundred and fifty thousand now your house is probably worth three hundred and forty thousand you don't know probably five hundred Go get some work done on your house and get that shit reappraised. Stop selling your homes. Sheesh. Ah, fuck. Ah, fuck. I might have to go. We gotta go. I can't play the music. All right, we gotta go. I can't play the music. I don't know. He's probably far enough away. Could y'all hear the music? Let me know if y'all can hear the music before I leave. Because I don't really want to leave. But I can't I can't play the music. They're going to fuck me over YouTube. Yeah, that's too loud. I got to go. I know he's just trying to help. All right. Come on, let's go. I know he's trying to help. I know he's trying to help. I know he's trying to help. I'm not upset or angry. I know he's trying to help. He don't know. It's all good. I know he's trying to help. It's all good. All right. We got to go find another spot. Somebody, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I was I was actually thinking about going into uh, Midtown today. I should have probably did that. You know what? We're going to walk and get some free uh, stuff for our... Oh, I got the shit at the house. I don't even need that. All right, fuck it. Let's walk back to the crib. I'm out of court. I don't really want to go live in front of the crib really. So I try to move to a uh, for the for everybody that's wondering why I haven't been going live in front of the crib. I've been trying to move to a more commercial area. That's why we be in the parking lot. But I can't play the music. I know he's trying to be. Up. A lot of my life is people trying to help, and then I'm like, but that's hurting me, and then they get mad at me and say I'm ungrateful. So. I can't tell people when they're doing something to me that's like not helping. I just gotta leave. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, uh, let's talk about. We talked about the gunner. Uh, do y'all want to talk about Dylan Brooks next, uh, or do y'all want to talk about what's the other title? What's the other uh, comment in the title? Trump and Dylan Brooks. Do y'all want to talk about Trump or Dylan Brooks next? I prefer to talk about Dylan Brooks next, just so we could be clear. Because the political concept conversation that's going to surround Trump is probably going to be really, really long. So I prefer to talk about Dylan Brooks first. Do y'all want to talk about Dylan Brooks or, or uh, Trump? Or Dylan Brooks? I can go get the... Yeah, no, no, no. We're going to go walk to the spot. Because I don't like using the milk in the store. You know when you make your own coffee in the stores? I don't like using the milk because, you know, niggas is twisting the cap off. You don't know where their hands been. You don't know where niggas been. <laughs> I'm going to go home. I, I, I get the coffee from my crib. I just be quiet. I just try to speak, speak low. Yeah, but that shit is crazy. Niggas is trying to say I'm trying to get niggas caught up with the police. So how come I interviewed so many drug dealers and killers and all this other shit and not one of them niggas ever got picked up by the police based on anything I've ever did? Like, you understand what I'm saying? So niggas just believe anything when they want to hate you, man. Or when sometimes niggas just don't know. You know what I'm saying? They, be, they own fear. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people just don't know. All due respect. So we're going to walk back to the crib and get a coffee. Maybe when we come back, dudes already left. If not, we're going to go find somewhere else. Because I can't play the music. I just can't do it. That's why we don't go to no more clubs like that no more. 
until I uh, I gotta figure out what the problem with YouTube is because I'm not so they're not supposed to do that to me what they did they supposed to just say that I'm I'm playing somebody else's music and then demonetize the video not demonetize the whole fucking channel you understand if they demonetize the video I'm fine with that I don't care about the video being I mean I care but you know what I'm saying a video here and a video there being demonetized isn't that big a deal but when you demonetize the whole entire page for fucking 30 days that's a big deal you understand what I'm saying that also comes with other consequences also like you could lose your page you understand what I'm saying so no nah, I'm not I'm not taking those chances and I don't care what anybody thinks about it <laughs> Fucking. What's I just about to say? Um. Nobody's commenting. Uh, okay, so we'll get to the. Uh, I talk about the Dylan Brooks situation. So the U.S. lost the bronze medal game to Canada. The U.S. lost the bronze medal game to Canada. Dylan Brooks scored 39 points. Do y'all remember who Dylan Brooks is? Dylan Brooks is the dude that was arguing with fucking LeBron James and good morning. Good morning. That was arguing with LeBron James and the rest of them dudes. You know what? I think that's why I do that. Like I'm so used to like what happened with that chick earlier where all I said was good morning and she gave me the evil eye. So I'm just so used to having real short conversations with chicks out here nowadays. So that's why I just say, I say hi, maybe say a couple of things, and then I just walk off. Because I'm so used to them just really not being nice to me. <laughs> so that's probably why I do that. Like, I'm thinking about that shit right now. Is that gate still closed? Shit, that gate is still closed. I ain't fucking, we not walking that way. I don't feel like walking all the way around. We're going to have to go find a different way to go get support. I don't feel like walking all the way around. Anyway, um, but shout out to the chicks that I just say hi to, and they don't think I'm trying to fuck them. They just realize I'm just being polite. Shout out to them. <laughs> and anyway, in any recourse. And then they call me gay. After when I do say something to y'all, y'all ignore me. But if I if I don't if I don't say something, I don't understand this shit. Anyway. It's, 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 I mean no win situations. Anyway, um as far as the Dylan Brooks situation is concerned, a couple of things I want to say, and this is the point I'll be trying to make. When you in the NBA, say don't play, the way that the NBA is played now, I don't know if we're ever gonna be able to get back to real basketball. They don't really play real basketball in the NBA now. It's, it's too much of a show. You understand? It's too much of a, our best player against your best player because of, and you could blame Michael Jordan for this, by the way, but it's not his fault. Why do I say you could blame Michael Jordan? Before Michael Jordan, if a team had a best player like him, they didn't just throw the ball only to him. There was still ball movement. There was still a strategy involved. Magic Johnson could have scored way more points than he scored. Larry Bird could have scored more points than he scored. Go check out these guys' assists. Larry Bird is a way better passer, in my, in my opinion, than fucking um, um, LeBron James. Please go look at fucking Larry Bird footage. A lot of LeBron James passes that y'all consider to be so great because he's so smart and so intelligent is basically because he knows where the guy is going to be and he's throwing to a spot that the guy is supposed to be in. What up, Hector Cruz? So he's throwing to the spot that the guy is supposed to be in. If the guy's not there, it's the guy's fault. Larry Bird is doing incredible passes in the middle of everything happening where he got to react on real time. Please go check out Larry Bird and stop acting like LeBron James is as good as Michael Jordan because he isn't. Now, with that being said, when you play internationally, they don't play like in, New, uh, in, in the NBA. You see, in the NBA, it's about who your two best players are or who your three best players are. When you play internationally, it's a team thing. So what happened is Dylan Brooks is playing on the team an international team and their strategy is more about winning the game than making sure that one guy got fucking 50 points this is why i don't like playing basketball in the fucking park 
because people ain't playing basketball to go have a good time to win the game people are playing basketball because they're trying to make sure that one guy is you know shoot all the shots and score all the fucking baskets so nobody else to get hot the game look ugly you just got one guy coming down taking on i don't even want to play Call me a fucking basketball snob if you want. But I don't want to play. I don't even want to play like that if I'm the only guy taking shots. And this is coming from a dude that that used to be the situation. I changed my game. I became a passer and a distributor. I was just a flat out scorer when I first started actually getting good at basketball. I was just a defensive guy. And if I get the rock, I'm not going to pass it, but I will get the bucket. I was a flat out scorer. A lot of these kids out here that think that they nice, you couldn't handle a lot of us back in the day, fam. Y'all don't even play strong enough. You couldn't handle us. There's, old, there's older niggas out here right now that was getting it when I was getting it, that will bust, the reason why they busting you, y'all young niggas asses, is because we had to learn how to play the game. We didn't just have to learn how to score. All y'all gotta do is go practice how to score. Y'all don't have to have no basketball IQ or nothing. That's why y'all don't pass the ball, in my opinion. Y'all don't have no basketball IQ. I be getting pissed, and nine times out of ten I be getting pissed. It's because I'm playing with people with low basketball IQs. Dylan Brooks does not have a low basketball IQ. He's just not athletic as the other people that's on his NBA team. So he doesn't get the same opportunities. Now he's in FIBA. He was getting those opportunities while he was in the FIBA game. What did he do? He scored 39. See, when you're playing in the NBA, the refs are going to go make the calls for the superstars because that's their job. They're going to make sure the superstars go to the line 20 times a game. Good morning. They're going to... Another black woman. I <laughs> told you. <laughs> They're going to make sure the superstar goes to the... To the I'm going to say this up to the next one, too. Just so we can, just so I can show y'all, I'm not capping. The superstar, um, they make they, they just there to make sure the superstar wins. That's it. I want y'all to go. I love Steph Curry. I'm not trying to disrespect him, but I want y'all to go look at the Steph Curry, Kyrie Irving interactions. And if you can tell me that the the refs are fair to Kyrie Irving, then I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. So all that happened is Dylan Brooks went and played somewhere where the refs are in control. That's one. Two, as soon as that idiot said that the new that the um NBA uh isn't well, the refs might have been being controlled. Just in all fairness. I'll explain why. The refs might have been being controlled. I'll explain why in all fairness. As soon as that dude, I forgot what his name is. Went and said that the NBA ain't the world champions. World champions are what? As soon as he said that shit, USA was going to lose, fam. They wasn't going to let niggas medal. Because what does the rest of the world want to do? I promise you, the rest of the world would love to have a competition, and this does not even sound like a bad idea, where the winner of the NBA finals have to play against, like, a world team out there in order to see who's the world champion. You understand what I'm saying? But I also want to add something to this, Mr. Whatever that dude's name is, Noah Lyles. You're an idiot. Because as far as I know, in the MLB, they're called world champions also, right? Baseball isn't the only... Base, America isn't the only place where baseball exists. So the, the NBA isn't the only people that did it. You just devalued the NBA with your stupid fucking comment. And you also made it so it's in the world, every other country other than America's best interest if the USA don't meddle. So you are intelligent. You're the best. You guys don't even think past your words. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How you doing today? Good? Yes. I'm a you also stay blessed. Yes. Told you. Now, there's not one non-black woman that didn't say hi to me this morning when I spoke to them. Not one. 
I think could have been one, but she was far away. I don't know if she, I don't know if that what what she was doing. <laughs> Not one, but I've gotten three black women that I said good morning to today. They just looked at me like I was absolutely insane. Good morning. Question: What do y'all use those for? Cut things. I mean, I know that part. <laughs> I mean, what things are y'all cutting? Uh, like when y'all gotta get when y'all gotta get into a place. Y'all mind? Uh, I'm, I'm vlogging, and and it'll be good to know. Or y'all don't wanna? What's up? I'm vlogging right now, and I thought this was interesting. This might be stuff that oh, people. Oh no, we can't. Okay. Sorry, man. So that's what y'all cut into stuff with? Yeah, we, we cut into like uh, stores are on fire, and we can't get in. We we'll cut in, we'll get in. I appreciate you guys. You guys are like the bravest, man. Thanks, man. I probably, I would face down somebody shooting at me. I don't know if, if I run into a, a burning building, fam. For real, for real. I've literally faced down people shooting at me. I have never ran into a burning building. <laughs> never. <laughs> Something ain't gotta be in there I really love, fam. Not a stranger. I'm sorry. That's like the third day I saw them practicing it. So that's what I wanted to ask. Not third day in a row, by the way. Just third day in general. All right, back to the Dylan Brooks thing. So, no allows. I have no idea why he did that. Devalued the NBA product on a worldwide scale. That's one. If I was the NBA, I, would, I wouldn't even want him in the NBA no more. He's a fucking idiot. That's two. Nine times out of ten, all that happened is... Somebody convinced him to say it. Like he went out there, there was somebody talking, they convinced him to say this, and he was stupid enough to go on and say it. You belong to the NBA, fam. How are you not gonna want that league to be the best? That's one. Two, Dylan Brooks, we've all seen him play. I don't, I wanna know, I gotta go look at the highlights. I need to know how he was scoring. I wanna know, did he go to the line 15 times? I don't even think he can hit 15 free throws. So, <laughs> so I want to know how Dylan Brooks was scoring in any regard. We got to get a snack or something. Honestly. In any regard, uh, Dylan Brooks scored 39. Canada gets the gold medal, gets the uh, bronze medal. We got a player from the Knicks, RJ Barrett. He on the Canadian team, so we medaled. Uh, the NBA doesn't care about FIBA. The NBA cares about the Olympics. All right? So they send, like, their C team to FIBA. Uh, I think the only – they had a couple of good players, but they send, like, the C team, fam. They don't really – they're not giving FIBA the respect that they deserve, one. And, two, one of the main reasons why I think they send, like, the C team is because they want to make sure the, the main stars – you know, a lot of those guys is getting rehab right now. A lot of those guys is, you know, they rehabbing, fam, so they can't play. You know, because remember, when the, on those Olympic years that we have the Olympics, they play that whole year. They don't get no rehab. They don't get any rehab. They don't get the opportunity to, like, lay off and, and, and recover from the season. They basically go from one season to another season and back to the main season. So I understand why a lot of players aren't doing the FIBA thing. Don't get that confused. But I just don't want us to send the C-listers. You understand? Send the fucking B-listers at least. You know, more B-listers. They had some good players there. They had a couple of A-listers. You know, you understand? But yeah, I want them to at least don't send the C-listers. Unless you're sending like one or two. I'd also like for them to start putting one college dude on the FIBA team. Start doing that. Put one or, have one or two of those spots for a college player. Because he's going to be hungry. Make sure that the college player is also a senior. He's going to be hungry. Then the NBA needs to change their rules if they want to keep having players that can compete on an international level. Because internationally, all of these ticky-tack bullshit fouls, they're not calling them, fam. In the NBA, you have to learn how to flop. That's why now they're now they're gonna they're gonna do the thing where if you flop, it's a technical. But they don't what what the fuck, fam? 
You think if LeBron James do two flops, they're going to throw him out the game? I don't. I think if LeBron James did six flops, they're not going to throw him out the game. LeBron James flops a lot, fam. That's why he can never be, that's one of the reasons why, that's another reason why he can never be better than Jordan to me. Jordan ain't flop, fam. Imagine trying to flop and you playing against the Detroit Pistons. You're just asking for a short career. Tell me where the lot at. Dylan Brooks got a medal. If I was Dylan Brooks, I'd wear that bronze medal to every fucking game next year. Every fucking game. Every interview at the end when they talking to him, I have that bronze medal on. Every time they see me in public, I'm going to have my bronze medal on. I'm going to be going out in public on purpose with my bronze medal on to get to, and take pictures with the fans. That's what we doing. Y'all hated on that nigga. Got mad at him. He was just being a villain. There's villains in the NBA. He was just being a villain. Y'all hated on him and got mad at him because LeBron James told y'all to. And then the nigga went to fucking FIBA and scored 39 points in a closeout game. <laughs> Y'all ready to talk about Trump for a minute? Put it in the chat. I'm just trying to cycle through everything and then we can talk about whatever y'all want to talk about. Y'all ready to talk about Trump for a minute? I do not know who this dude is, but I just seen him around here about five or six times. Is there a race going on I know nothing about? Is this like one of those races and shit? I just don't know nothing about it. <laughs> what up, Jet? I need people to hit the like button. When people hit the like button, notifications will help go out. You know nobody don't want to hit the like button over here. Only a couple of y'all. It is what it is. There's people that wait all the way into the end of the show to hit the like button. You know, thank you. I appreciate you. I just thank you to the 14 people that hit the like button, man. I really do appreciate you, and I'm, I'm more grateful than you could even imagine. More grateful than you can even imagine. Fuck, I need to go to a bar and watch the Giants game. But they're not going to let me just sit in the bar if I don't buy drinks, so I can't go to the bar. Uh, fuck it. I don't watch. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't really get to do anything else I want to do anyway, so this ain't no big deal. I, don't, I generally don't get to do nothing I want to do, so this ain't no big deal. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Um, well, yeah, so I don't really get to do nothing I want to do anyway, so, you know, fuck it. That's another reason why I just stay home. I don't and I, I'm not going to be able to do nothing I want to do anyway, so it don't make no sense to come outside. Mm -hmm. Right back.
Okay, so we're gonna snatch up some of these things because I don't like using honey need to. And two pieces, three pieces of shit. Two pieces. I'm gonna get a large three pieces of shit. Now we're gonna go walk to the way to get the cheap pork. One. We're gonna go walk to where the pork is a little bit cheap. Okay, let's talk about Adams this morning also. Once again, the Democrats creating the problem, and then now they're talking about they have to do budget cuts, which they only have to do because they brought all the migrants in, and then there was no funding to take care of them. So once again, the Democrats creating the problem, and now it's crazy. Democrats creating the problem, as always. For everybody that don't know, Eric Adams is now talking about he's going to cut funding to different programs in New York City. I do not blame Eric Adams for the migrant problem. It was ignorance on his behalf. It wasn't him willfully doing something that was going to be hurtful to our community. It was just ignorance. He didn't know any better. Eric Adams is not a politician. Y'all holding Eric Adams accountable for making bad political moves. This is the first actual office he's held. He's not a politician. You know, most people, right now, good, morning. Good, morning. good morning. Good morning. You know, most people who are politicians, they go through certain processes that allow for them to learn how to run a, content, a, a constituency, uh, to learn how to run a, a, a office. You know, sometimes they've worked for other people who run, uh, you know, been in the politics. They work with other people who are, who, are, who, are polit who are politicians. Eric Adams was, if I remember correctly, the head of the black police, um, black, um, the black police union initially. From there, he was able to become mayor because we literally had no one else to vote for. That's how come he get made it to mayor. Now, with that being said, I don't think he's done a good job, but I don't, I think many of the mistakes he's made or the missteps he's made, I don't want to say mistakes, many of the missteps that he's made just has to do with the fact that he's not a fucking politician. So the other politicians are just tricking him into taking on shit that he can't take on. That's it. He agreed to let the freaking migrants come to New York because they helped him get elected. Then now he got all the migrants in New York and now the same politicians that most likely encouraged him to do that, they not putting anything behind helping him take care of the migrants. So now he agreed to do some shit that there's no money for. So now what are they gonna do? They're gonna cannibalize other agencies that need money. They're gonna go take money from the housing, the DHS, I promise you. They're going to take money from all of these different agencies that actually need funding. Fam, tell me where I've been wrong. Tell me what I'm saying that's wrong. Tell me what I'm saying is wrong. Everybody tell y'all to hate me. Most of y'all decide y'all going to help them hate me. But tell me what I'm saying is wrong. They can't tell you what I'm saying that's wrong. All they can say is, he's lying, he's lying. Then you ask them where, I bet you they can't even tell you where. They're going to have to talk about a little tiny, minute detail that I might be incorrect about that don't mean anything. It's almost impossible to be a leader in the black community and want what's best for the black community. The only way to be a leader in the black community is if you fucking... You don't want what's best for the black community. You just got to agree with shit that's hurting us. You got to want shit to happen that's not going to benefit us. That's the only way to be a leader in the black community. You can't want what's best for people. That's how come the Democrats own us. 
Trump went to y'all. Let me say some shit real quick. Trump was in uh, one of those UN meetings. Good morning. Not the black woman. Trump was in one of those UN meetings. Good morning. It's only the black women, fam. I promise you. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> I promise you. And I'm not trying to say that to be a dick. And I love y'all. Believe me, I love y'all. I just wish y'all loved me. Believe me, I love y'all. No disrespect at all. In any regard. Um, Trump was at some meeting, some international meeting of some kind. And he basically said, and this was when he was president. I believe he said that Germany was going to end up being dependent. Oh, please don't follow me around playing music. This nigga's going to follow me around playing music. Like, why? What did I do to you? I don't even know you. I couldn't have done anything to you. What the fuck, fam? All right, so the reason why I moved in the first place was because some dude was playing music, dumb loud. Now the niggas across the street, like, is he following me to play? The, I don't understand. Like, is he just trying to like ruin my life? Like, that's the easiest way to tell me you don't never want me to come around again. I'm doing my live and you play music. Don't worry, I'm just, I'm not gonna fuck with you. Like, I don't, I don't dislike you. I don't mean no harm for you or nothing like that. But I'm not coming back around. I don't ride dick. <laughs> I promise you I don't. Once you show me that you don't want me around, I believe you. And then I, you know, acquiesce. I do the thing that you want me to do. Don't come around. What the fuck? I'm a whole grown adult. I don't want to be nowhere that people don't want me. Anyway. Why do you think I have stalkers, fam? So Trump goes to this meeting. He says, X, Y, Z amount of time, Germany is going to be dependent on Russian oil and it's going to be bad for the world. Everybody laughed at him. Audibly, all of these rulers of the world laughed at Trump. Guess what just came out? Germany is now dependent on Russian oil. Y'all just hate niggas that be telling y'all the truth. You understand? It's like in order to win, you just gotta you gotta lie in order to win. You can't tell the truth. That's how come I know I'm never gonna win. I'm cool. It is what it is, man. You just you can't win unless you lie. That's the only way. Android said we basically traded Tony for a third round and got Waller for a third. We came out on top. Tony just sold the game for the Chiefs Thursday. They traded Tony? The Chiefs had to get rid of that guy. What up, King? What up, LLC? The Chiefs had to get rid of that guy. That's just a fact. He dropped three. Two of the passes was extremely catchable. The third one wasn't catchable, but if you were, wasn't as catchable, but if you were an elite receiver, you got to catch it. But there was three catches that was absolutely 100% catchable. Two of them, pardon me. Two of the drops was, and especially the, uh, I think that was, was that the third drop? I believe that was, two of the drops was, the pick six was catchable. If the ball is a little bit behind you, you should still be able to catch it. You understand? Like, you should be able to catch the ball. I want to set up. Hold on, let's walk. I should but if the ball is only a little bit behind you, you should still be able to catch it. It's when the ball, you got to go back like this that it's a problem. If you got to catch the ball right here, that should not be a problem. You understand? You want to catch the ball here. You want to be run into the ball. That's what you want to do. You understand? Well, I'll show you in a minute. But you want the quarterback to place the ball so that you basically run into the ball. You understand what I'm saying? You want to run into the ball. So two of the passes weren't good passes that he dropped. 
just so we could be clear. But one of them, he should have caught 100% anyway. And the other one, it was still catchable if you're an elite receiver. I don't know how elite that guy is or isn't. I don't know much about him. But those weren't great passes. But he should have caught all three. Or at least two of them. What up, Andrew? He should have caught at least two of them. Two of them was, two of them was 100% catchable. That's not even a question. Two of them was 100% catchable. And yeah, I think you have to trade the guy. Yeah, but water hurt with no season. Uh, if you think it's a steal, salute, but it's wise. I don't know if it was a steal as much as you have to get rid of the guy that blew the game because you got to show other receivers on the team that this ain't acceptable. Also, I'm pretty sure that quarterback never want to throw to him again. So why would you keep him on the team? get it but those weren't and and we all know our Mahomes so you kind of have to be able to catch difficult passes from him because often Mahomes is like got all of the defense collapsing on him he's running around like a maniac he doesn't always throw the most catchable passes but they do get there they do get there they might not be the most catchable but they do get there in any regard that's the thing that y'all got to understand about people like brett Favre. everybody like claps it up for brett Favre because they was like he was a warrior and everything but brett Favre used to get his receivers killed remember um shannon sharp brother what was shannon sharp brother name he had like the weird name and shit. his first name i forgot but that dude was a whole beast and he used to always like have spectacular catches. But the reason why his catches used to be so spectacular was because they were bad passes from Brett Favre. But they got there. It's just that he was an elite receiver. Sterling Sharp, that was his name. He was just an elite receiver. You understand? He was just elite. But those passes that Favre used to throw Favre used to get that nigga killed. Favre, Favre throw the ball dead over the middle, dead over the middle, with both of the damn, <laughs> with both of the damn safeties <laughs> closing in on you. Favre get you killed, fam. For everybody that don't know, Sterling Sharp broke his collarbone, and that's why his career ended. I believe it was his collarbone. Why pay all that money to a tight end that's constantly injured? I mean, he's nice, but his injury screwed too much money. For Waller not to play season opener against Dallas, uh, wants a big bag. Agree with you. Team USA Law, shaking my head. I think Team USA was. They. I, okay, so did you. I was about to re reference something. Did you see the interview that happened on. Gilbert Arena's podcast when they said, when they were talking about game sevens? And they basically said, when you're playing game seven sometimes, you got to win the game by like 15 to win by 16. You got to win the game by 16. You got to you gotta, you gotta outscore the other team by 16 points in order to win by one. Y'all remember that? That's basically what just happened in the fucking USA and FIBA, fam. That's why you be quiet. That's why you be quiet. Dude decided he was going to speak out and say what he said. And nine times out of 10, the people that run FIBA saw the perfect opportunity to increase the branding or to increase the value of their brand, pardon me. And by increasing the value of their brand, all they had to do was make sure that the team won other than the USA. That's it. So shout out to Noah Lyles. He's a whole asshole. Those people on your team worked hard, practiced hard, and was trying their best. And because you couldn't keep your mouth shut about a thing that you really know very little about and you was just probably repeating something you heard somebody else say 
it was in FIBA's best interest for the USA to lose. Fam, if I'm saying anything wrong, put it in the chat. You're going to get a call. If I'm saying anything wrong, put it in the chat, man. Good morning. Give me one second. If I'm saying anything wrong, put it in the chat. Dude talk crazy. Good morning. Dude talk crazy. Since dude talk crazy, it was in FIBA's best interest for the USA to lose. Because that increased their value. Good, because that, in that increases the value of uh, FIBA. You already got your coffee up here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you get out your way. I'm sorry about that. How you doing this morning? I can't complain. Right. That's, that's a fact. All right. All right, come here. So I can get out of your way. Nah, nah, I'm patient. I can take, you can take really? your time. Yeah. Nah, I'm you can get a chair if you want. <laughs> All right, <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm patient. We make most of our mistakes when we decide to rush. Tell me about it. Yeah. Tell me about it. And I know that's true. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Yeah. What up, Ganju? Yo, Ganju, we're going to be back up on the stream yard in a minute. We're going to bring some of them. I need some rappers to interview. No. When I get back up on stream yard, I need some rappers to interview. I'm going to do a rapper interview like twice a week, man. Lock, lock me in. I should have brought Oh, she just brought this one back. She's probably thinking the same thing. I Well, I ain't never heard it. He never heard it. Says, uh, why well, pay all that money to Walla, but don't want to pay Barkley, shaking my head. Dude always hurt, but Raider Nation for life. See, the problem with playing Barkley is he's a, 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 a running back. Running backs have really small, really short life expen lifespans in the NFL. That's the problem. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I think you still pay Barkley because I think that Barkley's an exceptional, an exceptional player. So now we just got to see if Barkley can stay healthy. Uh, if, Barkley, if Barkley can stay healthy a little, but in order to keep Barkley healthy, you're going to have to improve the offensive line because that's how you take the load off of the the running back. When you have a good uh, offensive line, you, you take your load off the running back. Hugged. If you want an example of that, you could look at uh, Dallas when they had Emmitt Smith. Emmitt Smith is one of the best running backs in the history of the NFL, not just because he was incredible, but he also had a, a really good yeah, offensive yeah, line. They changed the way that they started doing offensive oh. lines back in the early 90s, and the first team to actually make that change was the Dallas Cowboys. They went from larger players to shorter players that was able to move quicker so they could do, um, so they could. Uh, you took that quarter, huh? That's they went from cool. larger players to shorter players. I mean, larger players to skinnier players with more mobility so they could use stunts on the line and so they could uh, pull guards and things as such and pull tackles. Sorry about that. So they could pull guards and pull tackles. So, yeah, so that's how that works. So if you want to have a longer life expectancy for your running back, what you need to do is you need to get a better offensive line. That's just what it is. So if the Nick, if the Giants aren't paying offensive linemen to come near to protect their running back and also protect their good morning and also protect their quarterback, then I wouldn't pay the running back either. Because don't pay the running back unless you have a good offensive line. That's just my opinion. 
I don't know what their offensive line is looking like currently. How is it? And they, they can't pay everyone. Remember that. So you got to get a good offensive line. And if you get a good offensive line, then now you can pay the running back. But if you don't have a good offensive line, you really can't pay the running back. Because nine times out of ten, the running back, most of the time the running back is going to get hurt because they're taking too many hits. Right? So, that part. I'm a sports guy, fam. We can talk sports all day, every day, fam. I'm a sports guy. Like, literally, I don't have cable no more. But when I did, all I did was watch ESPN, or should I say ESPN watch me all day. You understand what I'm saying? So, my TV would just be on ESPN while I'm doing whatever I'm doing. Like, in the beginning of YouTube, in the beginning of us doing YouTube videos, ESPN was watching me all day. You understand? In the beginning of us doing YouTube, all I did was have ESPN on while I made videos. Period. ESPN is just my background music. Like, you know how some people turn on, you know, music to go clean up the house and shit like that? I would just have ESPN playing all day no matter whatever I was doing. You understand? And I've been doing that ever since... Remember when ESPN used to play the same show over and over and over and over again every morning? I've been doing it since back then. They had the one hour show. And after that show was over, they just played the same show over. And they did, that, did it like that until like noon or something like that. Yeah, so I've been doing that since back then, fam. So yeah, we can have basketball conversations, football conversations, baseball conversations. Uh, I'll get a little bit more in tune with soccer. Funny thing is, I might know how to play soccer better than I know even the rules. But that's just because I'm really, really athletic. So I don't think that's fair. Like, I'm super athletic. Look, before we even get here. Before we even get here, we just trying to walk in already, all the music. So, fuck it, we going somewhere else. <laughs> Going somewhere else. There's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing I can do about it. We're gonna stand on this block for one minute. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm gonna stand over here and wait for dude to move. That's all I can do. Maybe we start going in the other parking lot. Maybe we start going in the other parking lot where don't nobody go. Maybe we start doing that. Hold on one second. Because at this point, I think this shit is on purpose. Niggas is like, yo, that nigga can't do, that nigga can't do his show if y'all got music playing. So niggas just, Probably following me around playing music. What the fuck do I know? I should have just stayed in Seagate. You know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to wait for that guy to move. Uh, you know, if, if he stays there too long, that's going to go. But we're just going to go back and do it inside of Seagate. Yeah, I shouldn't even... I'm just going to start staying inside of Seagate. I'm going to stop coming out here. Because I can't. I don't I don't really feel like getting up and moving every five minutes. You understand what I'm saying? And people got the right to play their music. So I, just, I don't feel like getting up and moving every five minutes. So I might just start staying in Seagate and stop coming out here. <laughs> Android says, facts. I agree with you, Frost. I like Barkley. But he should have never tried to play with us during the negotiations. I don't think he was wrong. I think Barkley deserved to get paid. I think that the New York Giants got to get a better offensive line. I think you can't pay your running back until your offensive line is the shit. Because why would you pay your running back? An offensive line is like the insurance. You understand? The offensive line is making sure that your running back don't get injured. That's what your offensive line is there for. 
Your offensive line is so your, your, your running back don't got to take so many hits, especially before he leaves the backfield. That's what your offensive line is there for. So you cannot pay the running back unless you have a, a above average offensive line at the bet at the least. How good is um the Giants offensive line? I'm just talking from a real standpoint, fam. With no emotion involved. Just from a real standpoint. How could you pay a running back if you don't have an offensive line? You can't. That nigga ain't gonna last the season. That's why Barry Sanders is absolutely incredible. The Detroit freaking Lions had like the worst offensive line in football. And Barry Sanders was killing niggas. Imagine if that Detroit team decided to get a good offensive line that could hold the block. Barry Sanders would have probably broke even more records than he broke, fam. But they didn't have offensive lines that could hold blocks. This is just facts. Good morning. told you i done said good morning to about five black chicks that all looked at me like i'm crazy <laughs> all the other women i said good morning to and said hi to they've been pleasant back i'm just telling you what it is fam shout out to black women i love y'all just wish y'all loved me hector cruz says that's what our problem is but now we got a gd back a good backup and a line so less stress on Jacobs. Fam, I'm telling you what football is, fam. If you want to discuss football with me, then we got to discuss football for real, not football for fake. Football for real see, says that your GM got to get your offensive line or you're not going nowhere. Football for real says that we got to be able to rush the pass or we're not going nowhere. Football for real says that we got to be able to get freaking um, third and short so we're not going nowhere. If you can't get third and twos, third and threes, you're not going nowhere. Those are the things that we need to be, practice, be um, practicing in practice. You got to make sure that you can get those three, those, those, those three, those third and longs, those third and shorts. Those are more important than the third and longs. You got to be able to get, if you only got three yards, you got to be able to get three yards on the uh, three yards. You got to have a couple of plays that could get you three yards. You know how many times people got to kick the ball because they, they couldn't get three yards? Fuck the times that they needed. It was three and, and ten. I'm talking about, you know how many times it's three yards? Three yards to go and you on third down? And you turn the ball over because you could only get one or two? Shout out to Coach Prime, by the way. Deion Sanders is arguably a top three football player of all time. And I don't care what nobody say. Deion Sanders is the best cornerback that ever played. I don't even think that's a question. I watched when Deion Sanders was in his prime. They didn't throw to his side of the field, fam. Deion, morning, my brother. Deion Sanders didn't have, Deion Sanders didn't have safeties helping him over the top. It was D, good morning, my brother. All right. Deion Sanders didn't have safeties helping him over the top. Deion Sanders was out there for real on an island, fam. Deion Sanders didn't have safeties helping him. Go check it out. I think I'm captain. Deion Sanders was the truth, fam. If I was a quarterback, I'd never throw in his direction. That just that whole receiver is just dead to me. What up, Will? Oh shit, I forgot to pin the cash app. Yeah, that whole that whole receiver is dead to me. I'm gonna look out there, I'm gonna see Dion on that side of the field. That means we throwing from middle in. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell that guy to go deep. Every guy Dion guards, I'm gonna tell them to go deep. 
I'm gonna send some. You know what? I tell that guard to go. I tell that that receiver on the outside to go deep, and I'll have the damn um, tight end on that side run an out route. Or I tell that guy to go deep. I have, uh, I have a, them do a crossing route like this. I right. damn. I wish I had my pen and my paper with me. So basically, Dion is on the wide receiver out here. So there's Dion and the wide receiver right out here, right? So now we right here. I have him on the on the strong side with the uh, with the tight end, right? Whatever wide receiver Dion's gonna uh, go against or whatever the case is, right? So what I'm gonna have is I'm gonna have both of them come up about three yards, three or four yards, and then break that way up three yards, break that way, right? So now we in a man situation most likely because they got Dion. So they probably either in the man or they in the man zone. They might be in a fucking cover three or a cover two. It is what it is. But those are good things. Dion don't need a cover three or a cover two. But anyway, they might likely in man on whatever Dion is at. He's playing man, right? So I'm going to have them do a crossing route on purpose. All I'm doing is watching Dion. Whoever Dion switched to, I throw it to the other guy. That's it. If Dion stay on his man, he's going to be running over the middle. That means that the tight end is going to be out there nine times out of ten in single coverage with a linebacker or a safety. And if he's on, if a safety, if the safety don't come up to the line, that means that the safety has to run in to catch him. If the safety comes up to the line, then dude making the move that I just said, I might have a, I might have a window to throw it to Dion. I mean, throw it to uh, the guy that Dion is on. I'm not throwing it. I'm not throwing it nowhere near Dion Sanders. But that's strategy. You understand what I'm saying? If a different receiver is out there, you just cleared the whole outside, or you made the um, the safety come up if they in man for whatever the reason is, and you just cleared over the top in the middle, because you know, that's all we're trying to do is create a little a little area to throw the ball in so the so the uh, wide receiver can go get it. That's all you're trying to do. You're not really trying to do more than that. You understand what I'm saying? You want to create a little area that you can just throw the ball and the wide receiver can go up and get it. We could talk football this morning, y'all rap bastards. We could talk football this morning. We could talk sports any day, fam. I do sports. I think he did. Yeah, we could talk sports any day, fam. When I when I get the fucking when I if if I decide to get uh because you know I haven't had good morning. Told you. She's on the phone though. But I haven't um what is I just about to say? Uh, if I, I might get the, when I get my internet back, I might get, uh, um, uh, fucking cable just so I can have sports center. I mean, I have sports center for, I have ESPN for free, but I don't know if they, I, I don't, I have ESPN for free because I got the, the bundle. You know what? I start looking at that. Child up. Sheesh. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm just saying some super real shit. But the real difference between some of these chicks out here is discipline. Because some of y'all got the bodies that are incredible. Y'all incredible bodies, probably incredible personality also, cute in the face and everything. But discipline is what's, what is the difference between from, from one human being to another. Whether it's a man or a woman, it's discipline, fam. Period. That's the thing that is the real difference between human beings. How you doing? It's discipline. That's it. That's it. The more disciplined you are, the further you're going to go. Because she is a bad. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I see some shorty and I be like, damn, shorty is bad. If I was dating her, then we have to get in the gym and then we're going to be on Instagram and we're going to make a grip. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. What up, my brother? All right. I ain't gonna lie, I'll be thinking like that. I be see, what's up, my brother? I'm sorry, I don't got no cash today. I be thinking like that. If y'all wanna buy uh, the dude in front of the Dunkin' Donuts something, y'all send me something and I go buy him a coffee or a donut or a sandwich or some shit. If y'all wanna buy uh, the dude in front of Dunkin' Donuts something, I don't got it. If I did, I would, but I don't have it.
But if y'all want to uh, buy the gentleman in front of Dunkin' Donuts something, uh, we can go do that. I don't have it. But if y'all want to do it, we can go do that. It'll be nice. Nice thing to do. I would like for us to walk around and do nice things for people. And I say that, look. And I say that being in the motherfucker that needs y'all to pull up to the cash app like a motherfucker. You have no idea. See, when the music ain't that loud and it's not that long, it's not an issue. It's when that shit is blasting. Good morning, my brother. All right, good morning. It's when that shit is super blasting and it's long, it's on for an uh, extended amount of time. You understand? What are we talking about? Y'all want to stay talking about sports? We can stay talking about sports, man. What y'all need me to do, if y'all really want to have a, a, a conversation about football, I need to have Madden. If I had Madden, I'll start doing some uh, real conversations, breaking down football strategy and shit like that. If I had Madden, because I'll be using Madden to do it, so y'all can see my talking about. We're working on that also. I don't know the possibility of anything, but we're working on everything. It's about to, that just seemed to drop coming down. We might move over there under the, uh, let's move out of the, it's about to start raining. Good morning. Hey. She was black. She said good morning to me. Shout out to her. That's like the, the second. I think I'm two for like seven or eight right now. Like, <laughs> like I tried to say good morning to about seven or eight black chicks. I think that's like the second one that said it back to me. Shout out to that shit. Second one. I point shit out like that. I'm going to explain why I point shit out like that. I point shit out like that because we got to be more loving towards one another. That's all. We really got to be more loving towards one another. I'm going to say something that we do in the black um, community that we need to stop. And that's always thinking it's cool to play jokes on people. Always think it's cool to like be doing weirdo shit. You understand? We got to stop doing that. You understand what I'm saying? Like We don't have enough unity amongst our people for us to keep treating people like they jokes. Like, our people don't got enough unity, fam. We're not like other communities where we are, other communities are always at the behest of each other. Like, other communities could go and ask a stranger that's a part of their community, and they'll be more than willing to drop everything that they're doing and help them do something. We're not like that, with all due respect. We have a different relationship. That relationship needs to be fixed. You understand what I'm saying? That relationship needs to be fixed. We need to Hello. do something about that. That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. Hello. You understand what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. I could be wrong. I just think that we need to show way more love to one another. And I think it's just black people think it's easy and popular to have something negative. I think that we just hate our own people. You understand? I think black people just, we hate our own people. Hello. That's what I think. Like, for real, for real. And I don't think it's something that we're actively doing on purpose. I think it's just that we're picking up a lot of mannerisms from the other nations that hate us, from all the other situations that might not like us. And we're not showing ourselves individually in the mirror enough love. That's what I think. I could be wrong. I think that we need to show each other more love. I think that we need to be more compassionate towards one another. That's just my opinion. And maybe I'm wrong. Good morning, my brother. That's the real reason why I say good morning to everybody. That's the real reason. I want some, you know, I remember going extended amounts of time in my life and I could go outside and I walk around and this is when I was a child, just so we could be clear. Remember, I lived alone. I lived alone at the age of eight, basically until I was about 12 years old. I lived alone. So I used to go full entire 
maybe three, four days, especially like in the summer, where I wouldn't even come into contact with anybody. I wouldn't even have a human being to talk to. You understand? It's just me. I'm just by myself. So sometimes I say good morning to people, you know, because this is how it started. Because I know how it feels to go and don't nobody even say hi to you. Don't nobody talk to you. Don't nobody acknowledge you. You know? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So. You talking about the Giants game today? I was. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. You know what I'm telling you? They don't pay that boy some calls. Where y'all watching it at? I need somewhere to watch it. I got my friend right here. What up? I'm invited? I got you. All right. Oh, what time is gonna be finished? Come back through and holler at me and see what's good. I got you. Dude, you don't have to invite me if you don't want it. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. I got you. All right. Yeah, I'll pull up. I need some way to watch the game. Maybe we go live in the game, in the crib, watching the game. And I could give live action commentary. Hey, good morning. How you doing? I don't know that nigga from Adam, fam. I really do appreciate the energy that he just gave. But that's how we got to give each other energy, for real, for real. Like I just, I started off saying hi to people when I moved to Concourse Village, basically. I mean, I was kind of a little bit before then, but not really. But when I moved to Concourse Village and I started going outside and I started seeing the same people every day, and sometimes people just, and I used to always walk around like not smiling, like, I can't even explain it. So, I just started saying hi to everybody. I just started saying hello to everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Because you don't never know. Sometimes people don't have nobody be nice to them. Sometimes people don't have a person say a kind word to them. Some people struggling at home and they don't even get treated kindly at home. But when I see you in the street, I care about you. So I want to say good morning. I want to say hello. If I get the opportunity, I do want to say something nice about what you're wearing or about what you're doing. People don't have say nice things to them you know so that's what i'm doing i don't know what anybody else is doing i know there's people that hate me and people that just want me dead or whatever the case is but this is what i'm doing this is what i'm doing let's get back to the giants conversation hector cruz says that's what our problem is but now we got a good backup Stress off Jacobs. We need offensive line. I, I don't know what our offensive line is looking like. I haven't been involved in sports as much as I should be. I grew up in a household where uh, when I moved to Concourse Village, uh, we bought, they, at my house, uh, shot the birth of Taylor. Uh, we'd have like three or four newspapers rolling around the house. There'd be like two daily news in the post. Like we sat up, every single person in that house sat around for at least an hour at one point or another through the day and looked through the whole newspaper and then at some point during the day when we we're just talking amongst each other yeah, we'll discuss it i'm on the phone at the oh, moment shit. you got your phone with you nah it's upstairs uh i could um you got snapchat i got instagram you got instagram i take my instagram my instagram is easier than yours i promise you let me see bbn.network 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 got you i got you you're gonna see atl 823 libra boom got you bbn.network you. you the man my brother don't forget the dot not the dot bbn.network <laughs> 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 boom we're gonna probably watch the game. If we go watch the game, we're gonna go live. I'm gonna talk my shit. We can talk about the game in real time. I love baseball too. I like going to the baseball games and watching the baseball games in the stadium. I love baseball. I, baseball was my first sport. We had a, a pitching mound and a going up. Growing up, I had a pitcher's mound and a batter's box in my backyard. My father had made it with his um, uncles. My uncles had came through. And that's another thing. And that's why I'm trying to say, like, when when I, when, my, my, when, uh, when I was a child, before I was born, all of that type of stuff, 
my fathers and his uncle and my uncles and cousins and stuff like that, we came together and built shit to help each other out. Like, why don't we do that anymore? Here. Like, why don't we do that anymore? What's up, my brother? Like, why don't we do that anymore? We had, my uncles came and built a grill in my backyard out of bricks. We had a brick grill in my backyard. We had a batter's box and a pitcher's mound in my backyard. All of this was made before I was born, by the way. My uncles just came over one day. It took one damn day and a little bit of hard work. Good morning. It took one damn day and a little bit of hard work, and they got all of it done. I believe it took one day. At least that's a story I heard. <laughs> I wasn't there. I wasn't born yet, I don't think. That's the type of shit we got to start doing. People be thinking I'd be weird because when I'm walking past our people in the street and I see them doing something, I, oh, I usually ask them, do they need some help? They tell me no. Good morning. They usually tell me no. But I sincerely will help if they accept my if they accept my help. I'm trying to give blessings from God. That means that I got to give blessings to other people. How am I going to give blessings from God if I'm not out here trying to do God's work? So that means that when I have the opportunity to do something kind and nice for somebody else, I have an obligation. That's just a fact, fam. That's the way to that's. That's just, that's nature. Imagine having an opportunity to do something kind and nice for somebody. It's not going to take nothing out of your life, nothing out of your day, but a couple of moments, a couple of seconds, a little bit of energy, and you just say no. What else y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat. Excuse me. What else y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat. If y'all are enjoying this Monday, this Sunday morning, you can always pull up to our cash app. As you can see, it's pinned. What else y'all want to talk about? I wasn't going to do a live this morning, by the way, y'all. Quite honestly. I wasn't going to do it. Then I woke up. I was like, man, I don't really feel like doing a live this morning. I don't really got the energy for it. But then I'm like, y'all guys don't show up to the cash app and the PayPal and stuff like that, but y'all do show up to the room. So when I don't do the live, y'all might be missing something. Like, it's, and it's a Sunday, so y'all guys are home. So I said, fuck it, let's do the live. But I wasn't going to do a live. I was in the house cleaning up. I done mopped this morning, cleaned up my kitchen. I was in the house cleaning wake up in the morning and do shit nigga. you understand yeah. i'm assuming y'all getting kicked right now the numbers was just at 70 now they at 50. i'm gonna wake up in the morning and do shit nigga. like that's who i am i'm a, like i'm good i'm just being honest with you i'm used to when i'm living with a woman well, i'm not gonna get into it but i'm gonna wake up in the morning have energy type motherfucker. that's the best way i could put it i'm high energy I've been up since about 5 this morning, 4.35 or some shit. I don't know. What else y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat. We two hours in, fam. I done did all of the topics. We two hours in, I done did all of the topics, which I want to talk about. Put it in the chat. I done did all of the topics. We've been on live for two hours now. You can't expect for me to still be talking about the same thing for the whole two hours. That's insane. Sheesh. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Oh, look at the cutie. Is it too wet out here for you? Yeah. She's like, it's all of the wetnesses. Yeah. Yeah. Who wants to be wet? This is the truth. That lady went there. I don't know what the fuck that lady smoked at. Not you, ma'am. Not you. 
I don't know what the hell that other lady went over there to do, but I think that other lady just came over here and sparked up some fucking K2 in back of me, fam. That was crazy. I don't know what the shit smelled like, but somebody said that that I think that's what it smelled. I can't. My nose is fucked up. I got to go get surgery. So I can't really smell well. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta, it's, it's neither here nor there. So I can't really smell well, but I think that's what I'm smelling, but I can't really smell well. But that other dude down there is smoking something also. He might be smoking K2, what the fuck do I know? <laughs> might be smoking weed, I don't know, I can't. Can't tell when none of this shit smell like. All right, so the sun, the uh, the rain stop. We're gonna get out. I only go right there when the rain start. I don't really like being there because, you know, that's kind of that's why I was standing so close to the uh, camera because I wanna just stand close to the camera. But also I try to make sure that I'm standing close to the camera in there. And as you can see, I didn't walk off to the side none because I don't know if people want to be on the film and. and uh, you know, that's catching everybody walking in and out of the stores. So I'm always trying to be respectful. I'm not trying to get people in the chat that don't want to be on the chat. Anybody trying to treat me like that's what the situation is, they can Okay? Alright, I'm going to tell you the funniest thing. I'm usually trying to prevent people from being actually on the video. But there's always some people acting like I'm trying to put them on the in the in the fucking thing. And generally speaking, I'm trying to stop people from being on my live. Like if I see people coming around or whatever, I'm like in the way. Like I'm not trying to film nobody, but people always, for some strange reason, think I'm trying to film them. I don't know why. Good morning. I, I don't know why people think I'm always trying to film them. Like I don't I don't get it. I, I honestly don't get it. Honestly, I don't get it. Sheesh. I honestly don't get it. I don't get it. People just think, <laughs> I don't get it. I really don't get it. Like, I'm not trying to put nobody on my live. Like, what the fuck? If you want to be on the live, I'm fine with it. But I'm not trying to. So I don't get it. I just got to assume somebody told y'all some lie and you believe it. That's what, so that's usually how that go. Whenever somebody acting weird towards me, I just assume, all right, somebody told you a lie and you believe it. Fuck it. Nothing I can do about that. What else y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat, fam. We're not talking about nothing. Yo, after I do my hunting or whatever. Yes, sir. All right. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to still be out here for at least another hour or two. Okay, okay, okay. What time is the game? Tonight. Boom! <laughs> Morning, my brother. Chillin'. Alright. Wanna hustle my little pretty today, you know? Okay, that's what it is. Enjoy your day. Stay blessed. What you hustling, fam? You wanna talk about it or Alright, that's what it is. Not the thing you put inside the woman. Ah, joke. <laughs> yeah, that makes the, uh, that's for the music. Ah, you can come over here and talk to the people if you want. I don't care. And this, and, and this here, you put the, the batteries in your tape. It takes three little batteries. You know when you hit the button? Uh, I'm not going to buy any of this, but you can talk to the people if you want. Listen, I'm just saying hello to the people. That's all. It's okay. On, no, no, no. I'm getting ready to take off, man. What is this? It's like. Oh, for like you put it on your yeah, head. Yeah, yeah. Like it takes three little batteries. And this thing here is, is uh. Hey, he got one of those things that the cat burglars use. So if anybody want to be a cat burglar, let me know. And I'll copy for you right now. Drop something in the cash app. We're going to go cop. You want to be a cat burglar. This is the cat burglar shit. That's a fact, though. Salute. Give me that. Yes, sir. That's the, you also. That's the cat burglar shit. Nigga, like, you want to be a cat burglar? You got to sneak around like this. That's it. 
Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You want to be a cat burglar, you got to learn how to walk like this. You got to learn how to walk really soft. There you go. Real soft. Real soft. You got to learn professionally how to look both ways. Look that way like this. You got to look that way like that. You got to come back professionally like that. <laughs> That's how you did a cat burglar. Good morning. <laughs> They got a cat burglar. Hat. Is he going mining? Like, <laughs> I'm making jokes and shit, but that's the kind of stuff you need. Like if you're a plumber, or electrician, you have something like that. It allows for you to be able to use the flashlight without having to and still have both appendages. So that's really what that shit's for. <laughs> like shit like that. That's really for shit like that and shit. You don't gotta be a cat bird. You be electric. Shit. What up? What else y'all wanna talk about? Put it in the chat. Thinking about food, fam. What else y'all want to talk about? Come on, man. We got 54 people in the room on a Sunday morning. I started the live stupid early. Y'all knew we usually used to start at 920. I've been starting the lives at like 8 o'clock, 730. I've been starting early. What's up? What y'all want to talk about? Morning, my brother. Morning, my brother. What else y'all want to talk about? Give me a topic or give me something to make jokes about something. Somebody walked up to me and said I was a comedian. I am not a comedian. If I'm ever saying anything funny, I mean, I'm not a comedian. But, you know, that doesn't mean I can't have charisma, right? I'm not actually a comedian. So if I'm saying stuff to make you laugh, that's just my charisma activate. I'm not a comedian, fam. That's just my charisma activated. I'm not a comedian. I gotta go buy peppermint. Let's go in this store real quick. So, obviously, I live near the beach and shit. So, we got like a bug problem sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So, the winter's about to come back. So, the bug problem picks up. That's why I was a little perturbed the other day when somebody got rid of the spider that was in front of my house. They got rid of the spider's web. That spider's web was big as shit, though, so I see why they took it down. But I was going to let it stay there forever. Good morning. How you doing today? Good? Yeah. Excellent. So I was going to let the spider's web... Good morning. How you doing today? Good? All right. I was going to let the spider's web stay there, but that shit was big. I can understand why people took it down. Good morning. I can understand why whoever took it down took it down. It was fucking huge. I'm going to see if they have, we want peppermint. Peppermint uh, gets insects out of your crib. You get some peppermint, you mix it with some water, you spray it around your crib. It gets the insects out of your crib. So we're going from spring into fall. So a lot of insects start migrating inside sometimes. So you got to see if we can get some. Y'all got peppermint, like spraying peppermint, like shit. Peppermint? Like, yeah. Okay. We need like. Uh, like something that's like pepperminty that we we mix and we can spray around the house. Pardon me, appreciate you. The fuck? We need something pepperminty. Maybe go to a pharmacy. Let's try a pharmacy. Fuck it. We walking around. Let's go do this. I'm not doing nothing else right now. Let's go do this. I want to get the peppermint. We need peppermint. You spray the peppermint around your house. I'm not sure why it keeps the insects out. I guess it bothers them or some shit. But basically, the peppermint helps keep the insects out the house. And we going from spring, I'm mean, pardon me, we going from summer to fall. So expect for 
insects to, good morning. Good morning. All right. Expect for insects to start migrating back into the house. You might have peppermint in here. Y'all got peppermint? Not peppermints, but like, uh, I'm going to ask the pharmacy. Thank you. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Let me ask the pharmacy. I don't know how to explain it. They might have it in Rite Aid also, but I know that it's going to be really expensive if I go to Rite Aid. Anyway, so let me find out the thing that I want first. And then after I find out the thing that I want, I know what I'm asking for. So let's go to the pharmacy. Because nine times out of ten, the pharmacy, thank you. Nine times out of ten, the pharmacy, the people probably know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because I got to go talk to somebody smarter than me. A lot smarter than me. Because I got to explain them to something, something to them that I don't know how to explain. Well, I don't think I do. <laughs> I probably know how to do it well, but generally speaking, if I'm not, if I don't know how to do something perfectly, I usually don't think I'm very good at it for some strange reason. Yeah, but Home Depot isn't around me, so. And also, I don't really like going to places. I used to work at Home Depot. I also don't really like going to places like Home Depot, Walmart, shit like that, because I'd rather spend my money with the local uh, stores. Peppermint essential oil you thank you that's what it's called okay fuck it it's supposed to be next to the pharmacy the pharmacy's closed so let's go to the right end so i'm looking for peppermint essential oil you thank you yeah so you get that shit you spray that shit around the crib good morning you get that stuff you spray that stuff around the crib the insects and all the bugs go the way of the dinosaur they leave because they can't stand the peppermint you understand what i'm saying i think i guess it burns their eyes or some shit I don't know. So for everybody that got an insect problem, get some peppermint essential oil. Good morning, my brother. For everybody that got problems, go get some peppermint essential oil. Mix it with some water, I think. And then you spray it around the house. I don't know if you have to mix it with the water or not. I'm not 100% sure. But get the peppermint essential oil. You spray it around the house. Whatever bugs you have should start going the way of the dinosaur and getting the fuck up out of there. Allegedly, it works for all bugs. So this is another thing. They tell us to go get, like, you know, whatever bug shit they tell us to go get, all that shit is toxic. All of that shit is toxic. So get the peppermint essential oil use. Let's go in Rite Aid. Uh, it's a pretty big store. They might have it. See what happens? Get the peppermint essential oil. But that shit killed me. Somebody was trying to say, like, I'm working with the police, like, I'm trying to get people locked up. Do you know how many gang niggas I interviewed and don't none of them niggas got problem with the police? You know how many killers, drug dealers, and all of that shit I interviewed? And I ain't getting nobody caught up with the police. Niggas is just lying, fam. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. People are just lying, fam. Appreciate you. Here you go. Peppermint essential oils. Let's go find the worker. Come on. We're gonna go find a worker. We're gonna look for some peppermint essential oils. We're gonna make it happen. Once again, we are inside and the music is playing, but for some strange reason, I don't get hit with the radio. And I think it's because of the way that it comes out and it's played. I guess YouTube picks up the algorithm as I'm not trying to steal nothing. I don't know. Good morning, my brother. I'm looking for peppermint essential oils. What would those be? Yeah. Boom. And I walked down the right aisle. He was standing in the right aisle. I was walking to this dude. Shout out to him. Appreciate it. The last yes, sir. Okay, so let's see what they run. This shit is expensive. Oh, peppermint essential oils. I don't have a spray bottle. Do I got a spray bottle at home? No, I'm gonna have to go get a spray bottle. I think I got one in the crib, bro. I usually try to save shit like that. So, all right, let's get the peppermint essential oil use. We out of here. Yeah, because you could use this to get rid of bugs in your house, man. Like, if you got any kind of bugs, use this shit. Stop getting all of this weirdo contamination shit that you're spraying in your house that got forever chemicals. Them shits be having forever chemicals in them, man. Then you go use them in your house and now that chemical is in your crib forever. People don't think about that. Now imagine when you use that shit in your house three or four times. 
for whatever the case is. You running around your house trying to get rid of all of it because you know ants go everywhere, fam. You can't do shit about ants. You trying to get rid of the ants in your house. You go get whatever raid or whatever the shit is that you go get, and then the next thing you know, you put all type of different forever chemicals in your crib. Get some peppermint, fam. Remember, I live like on the beach, fam. I got I had I seen some shit in the crib the other day. The thing looked like I don't know what it looked like. It was like a super fat caterpillar. I don't know what it was. I ain't never seen it before. But it was in the crib. One of my brother. Right. It was in the crib. I don't know what it was though. Good morning. Could I use a different body? Fuck it. Part of my language. I'm so sorry about that. So it's a long story. So apparently I used to have a different phone number. On my other phone number, I've been in Rite Aid because I used to live next to a different Rite Aid that I used to go to all the time. So I was at a different Rite Aid uh, and I used to go there all the time so I spent a lot of money there. So I had money backed up on the account but I don't have the phone number no more. And there was a situation that had happened when I was speaking to a different lady, not this nice lady, but I was speaking to a different lady trying to get the other thing switched over. But the person was just giving me a hard time. They was just, I don't know what the fuck their problem was. <laughs> they was just giving me a hard time. Like I, like I was trying to like I was trying to do something wrong or something. All right, we got the peppermint essential oil use. I've been trying to remember to get the shit for the longest. Yeah, like I was doing something wrong. Man. Like the shit was crazy. Like it didn't even make no sense. Man. People are usually mad at me for reasons that I don't understand. I, I guess that's the best way I could put it. Good morning. All right. Yeah, people are usually mad at me about shit I don't understand. So I'll be like, why are you mad? And then when I finally find out why they mad, they usually mad about some shit that I didn't even do. So I'll be like, all right. So somebody told you some fucked up shit about me, you believed them. And so now me and you didn't have a relationship for three years. Good morning. Now me and you didn't have no relationship for three years because of some lie that somebody told you. All right, fuck it. <laughs> fuck it. Now, I'm not even going to be upset over it, fam. Sometimes God makes people believe lies about you because you not they're not supposed to be in your life. You're not supposed to go that path. You understand what I'm saying? So take that as protection. You know what I'm saying? So often when people don't fuck with me, I take that as protection. You know what I'm saying? That's why I keep trying to tell y'all. I don't get upset when people don't fuck with me. I take that as the Lord's protection. I don't know what those people were into. Maybe they was into some shit. That I don't, I, that, that ain't for me. Maybe they was, you know, maybe they had plans for me that I shouldn't be a part of. I don't know. What the fuck? Yeah, so whenever somebody be like they don't fuck with me, I take that as protection. I'm legitimately a good person. I take that as protection. Once again, we have people trying to say that I'm trying to, I'm trying to interview people to get them. I've interviewed a ton of killers, drug dealers, gang niggas, and not one of the people I've ever interviewed got in trouble with the police due to an interview in which I've given. If you knew how many interviews I did that I never uploaded. You know, there's people that's pissed off at me because I didn't upload their interview. And in their interview, they said like five or six things that would get them locked up by the police. So I didn't upload it. I get it. You wanted those things to bring you clout. I get it. But I'm not putting up interviews that's going to get niggas caught up with the police. I'm just not doing it. I don't work for the police. I work for God, fam. I don't work for the police. I work for God. And that's why you see some people that say that they did an interview with me that I never posted. 
some interviews I just lost, to be honest with you. But a couple, cause, cause uh, uh, my computer issues. So I did lose a couple of interviews, just flat out lost them. I don't have them no more. But there's other interviews that I 100% do have on my Google Drive. I just can't upload them because if I upload them, I risk, you know, hurting somebody's ability to be a free person. So I don't upload them. And you, those same niggas is mad at me. They mad at me because they think they did a beautiful interview and they said a whole bunch of shit they want people to know. No, nigga, you said a whole bunch of shit where you snitched on this guy and you talked about that crime and that's so I didn't upload the bitch. You do what you want with it. You want to be mad at me? Be mad, nigga. I cover court cases for a living, fam. Y'all going and y'all interviewing with people that don't know shit about the judicial system. They only know about their case. They only know about how they got caught. They only know about what happened when they got to go to jail. I study multiple different court cases that involves a myriad of different crimes. Y'all going and interviewing with people that I, I, I mean, I'm not going to blow nobody up. I'm not going to blow nobody up. I'm going to let y'all send yourselves to jail. When people interview with me, they don't get in trouble with the police. All right, we're going to move. We're going to move. That dog is uncivilized. They dog is uncivilized. You're what up? How you doing today? Hold on, let's say what's up to the homies. You wanna say what's up to the people, fam? Oh, what up? What up, people? All right. Just on a quick morning run with my dog to the store. Boom. Stopping up, I'm trying to beat up this dog. Yeah. <laughs> we, got, we got. I'm in a little rush right now. Enjoy your day. You. I got a phone All right, that's what it is. Stay blessed, fam. I love the people that I get to see every day, that every day they come up to me and say what's up and we talk for a minute. I love that shit. Yeah, that lady dog is uncivilized. That's what happens when you don't train your dog. You got to train your dog. You got to train your kids. You got to train all of them. You understand? You got to train them. They can't be like that. That dog is uncivilized. That dog saw another dog and just went crazy. That dog is uncivilized. They don't train the dog. They just let the dog do whatever the dog want to do. Like the dog is its own person. That dog probably run their house. Dog went bananas, fam. Now, that's not me trying to say they don't love their dog. I'm pretty sure they love their dog to the utmost. But that don't mean that you know how to train a dog. A dog got to be trained. That dog might run into the street doing some stupid shit and get itself ran over. You understand? So this is not me trying to uh, disparage them or speak negatively about them. This is me saying, please understand the importance of giving tutelage. It's, it's important to train. It's important. You know what I'm saying? It's important. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to talk bad about those people. That's why we got a lot of the shit that we have in the street now. Because people ain't... Alright? Because people ain't training nobody. People ain't training their kids. People just... You know, I remember growing up, and if your kid was outside being a, a little douchebag, all somebody had to do was come tell you, yo, you know what your kid was doing? And then you're going to go and you're going to, you know, find out what the fuck is going on. Nowadays, when people, kids is doing some weirdo shit out in the street, they don't go stop their kid from doing weirdo shit. They go help them. Why do birds keep flying so close to me? Like, why y'all doing that? They go help them. You understand what I'm saying? They don't, they, they don't try to stop their kids from being a bad person. They blame whoever the person is they kid got a problem with or they got a problem with their kid. Their kid is outside being a whole fucking douchebag. That's why, once again, shout out to that dude, Robbie's father. Robbie's father came over to me and talked. He wanted to know what the issue was. He wanted to know what the problem was. Because to him, you know, the way he heard it from his kid, I was just out there threatening them. And that wasn't it. Them niggas was talking like they was going to run down on me. And I let them know that it was a bad idea. That's it. I'm outside by myself. I got six, seven people talking about they gonna run down on me. And I just let them know that wasn't a good idea. That at this, that something else is gonna happen. And it's not gonna be something that you, you are necessarily planning for. That's all I did. I wasn't out there threatening no fucking kids. You crazy? The father came, spoke to me. Good morning. The father came, spoke to me. We spoke about it. Um... 
We don't got to throw our lives away, fam. You understand? We don't got to throw our lives away. You know how you know how tragic it always is when you see some dude not wanting to hurt somebody else and then they lose their life because they busy trying to explain it's not that serious because they busy trying to explain they don't want no problems because they busy trying to explain that they not trying to argue with you. So now they lose their freedom. I mean, they lose their life because you're trying to explain this to a kid that can't understand nothing. You're trying to explain this to a kid that's probably getting abused at home. You're trying to explain this to a kid that had no training. You're trying to play, explain this to a kid that their parents don't even care enough about them to give them any tutelage. That's what you got to understand. People are always wondering why some dude ain't trying to help out all the kids in the neighborhood. You can't. The first help comes from they. The first help comes from their home, their parents, whoever is. Even if it's not their parents. Good morning. Even if it's not their parents, they first they first help comes from whoever's in that household, giving them their tutelage that they're watching. If they're busy in a toxic ass household where the mother's always arguing with the father, where the kid, the parents are always yelling at the kids, the kids is always yelling at the parents. What the fuck you think is gonna happen when they come outside and they meet a regular human being? They gonna be on that type of time, fam. They're gonna think everything is a fucking fight. They're gonna think everything is somebody trying to oppress them. Why? Because they live in an environment where they're being oppressed. Parents is the first people that teaches, the first teachers, the first everything. Shout out to that, shout out to that boy father coming up to me wanting to know what was wrong instead of just assuming that I was trying to do something that I wasn't even trying to do. I'm out here just trying to say, could y'all niggas go over there and leave me alone? And them niggas was busy saying, no, we're not going to leave you alone. We're going to harass you. Every time we see you, we're going to come over and harass you at every opportunity. We're going to come outside even when you're not around and we're going to look for you to harass you. What the fuck do I got to live in those situations for? I don't even know them niggas. So shout out to the people that's not sending savages outside the household for the rest of us to have to deal with. Shout out to them. Niggas is just sending savages outside for everybody else to got to deal with. And then when somebody says, good morning. And then when somebody just, ah, oh, shit, I wish I said good morning either first or not at all. And then as soon as somebody try to tell them about they savage that's outside, now they got an issue with you because you questioning the way in which they parent. But in reality, they're not doing any parenting. See, parenting is correction. Parenting is guidance. If you're not correcting and guiding your child, you're not doing any parenting. So shout out to dude father that came up to us and talked to us. Showing that you are in a savage and showing that you're not going to allow for your son to be a savage. You're not going to allow for your son to grow up and become a statistic. That you are an active parent in your child's life. Shout out to that shit. We need more of that, by the way. For everybody that's ever been on this platform for any time, y'all know how hard I try to avoid conflict. Y'all know how hard I try to avoid having problems with people. How many times do y'all see me walk away from a situation where I'm 100% not right and I'm dealing with somebody that's a douchebag. How many times have y'all seen that? It's all online, it's all on social media. I'm saying it's a thing, people are gonna say, good morning. People are gonna say I'm lying, even though that there's overt proof of it. People are gonna say I'm lying, even though there's, I got over 5,000, I got almost 6,000 videos on YouTube. So I probably got about three or 400 videos proving the thing that I'm talking about right now. I got over 6,000 videos. I got almost 6,000 videos on YouTube. And you're going to hear people go up to you and tell you I'm just a guy with a fucking phone. So, no, I love all of the kids, fam. Even the ones who are savages. We got to try to save every child, fam. Some of their parents just ain't helping. 
some of their parents is the reason and which why they outside acting the way that they acted because all they do is witness abuse in the household please stop arguing in front of your children can we start there let's start there the next time y'all got y'all feel like there's something that you need to discuss remove yourself or remove the child and talk about it like adults without yelling at each other if your child gotta watch you have a disagreement with one another have it constructively where you're teaching the child how to have discourse do that I told you that dog is a savage they don't that dog is a savage they don't train that dog at all his dog is trained all right his dog is trained look you don't even pay attention to the nonsense Hey, tell the people, man, I got a treat for them next time I come through. All right, he said he got a treat for y'all the next time. Some poetry, some black poetry. We can't wait, my brother. Old school shit, baby. We can't wait, my hey. brother. It, it, it's kind of graphic, though. I don't care. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that energy, fam. That energy, fam. Ah, oh, fuck. That energy, fam. That energy. Show your children how to have a disagreement. Don't just teach them to argue. You understand? That's part of the problem. Children aren't learning how to have a disagreement with somebody and then come to... You know what I'm saying? How we gonna work it out? Teach your kids how to work out disagreements. Stop just teaching your kids to yell at each other and be disrespectful and think that that's what being an adult is. Then they come out in the street. That's how they deal with one another. And that's why they shooting at each other. Cause now when a child has a disagreement with another child, one of them gotta go. Oh shit, I'm sorry about that, John Smith. I'm sorry about that, John Smith. I'm gonna read your comment. I unblocked you. That was a whole accident. I meant to hit a different button. I meant to hit a different button. I apologize about that, John Smith. Please rewrite that in the comment section so everybody else could see it. That was a whole accident. I meant to hit a different button. John Smith said, off the record, you mentioned the other day how God is blessing you. Today you stated you needed to watch the game. Hours later, you got invited to watch the game at a stranger's house. I don't even think it was an hour later, fam. It wasn't even an hour later. God is working in your favor. That's a fact. Shout out to John Smith. I've already been, my dude, I've already been promoted. I've already been promoted. So, when God promotes you, a couple of things happen. One of the things that happen is, People that was in your life fall off. That's why I never get upset. Never get upset when somebody is removed. Good morning. Never get upset when somebody is removed from your life. God might be doing that. You might not know why that person is being removed from your life. God might be doing that to save you. So never get upset when God removes somebody from your life. Never get upset when you miss an opportunity. I don't want to interview people for a living that much. That's not the main thing that I want to do. God knows that. So that's not the main thing that he's pushing for me to do. I don't think that's what he necessarily wants me to do. I don't think I could do as much good in the world if I only interview people. I showed that I'm great at it. I'm not good at that shit. I'm great at it. I showed that I know how to interview people that got criminal history without getting them caught up with the police. Come on, fam. I'm interviewing murderers and killers, and I'm and they're not getting caught up with the police. And they're not saying anything to get them. And then as soon as those same people that I was interviewing, the five, the um, the um, the the the, the, the original bloods. As soon as I stopped interviewing them and they started interviewing with other people, three of them started going, good morning, my brother. He works at the thing. I was just trying to say good morning to him because usually when I see the uh, their workers at the supermarket walk past, I generally say good morning. 
All of the chicks say hi to me. I guess he's new there. I don't go on his line, so he take it personal. But I'm gonna say good morning to him next time. Yeah, man, that bag can't be that heavy, fam. Oh shit, let me get out this guy. I'm not in his way. How you doing this morning, my brother? All right, salute. Yeah, it wasn't even an hour, fam. I'm trying to tell you I'm being promoted, fam. I'm being promoted. I've already been promoted. You understand? When you get promoted, it takes a minute for, for, for you to, you know, get all the way into your seat. I've been promoted, fam. And that was me talking something into existence just so we could be clear. That's what that was. That was me talking something into existence. How quickly did I talk that shit into existence? It wasn't even an hour, I don't believe. That's me talking shit into existence. Y'all should have me working for y'all. I really want to get the spicy wings today. I think that's what we're going to get for lunch. I'm not 100% sure. I want to get them sweet and spicy wings. I like them shits. What else y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat. We could go back to sports if y'all want. I think that that, that uh, the other spot is open. I think I'm going to walk back to the crib for a minute. It's, a, it's a late enough for me to stand outside for a minute. We're going to come back. We're going to come back. We're going to come back. She looks like my baby mama. I ain't going to lie to you. We're going to come back. But um, I'm going to walk to the other side. She look just. I'm not going to lie to you. She looks like my daughter mother. Like my daughter mother like that thick. Like thick like that. She looked like my daughter's mother in the face too. Not for nothing. All right, we gonna walk back to the spot. I also want to take this shit out of my pocket. We gonna walk back to the spot. We gonna come back out. Generally, I go on the walks when uh there's not a lot of chat in the comment section because uh on sunny days it's hard for me to see the chat good morning my brother how you doing today all right, all right. i was on the wrong side um because generally when you're walking down the street you should be on the right hand side but i wasn't on the right hand side because he had a container in his hand so I, I guess i tried to move to the side so he could just have more space so therefore i had to be on the side with the street it's a long story i was just trying to be helpful just know that <laughs> whether i was helpful or not Hey, we're going to walk back to the spot real quick. And I get to see if I have a water bottle of some kind for me to spray the dent peppermint around. Um, also, also, I tend to, uh, another thing that I like doing is I like burning cinnamon. And what I mean by burning cinnamon is I get a pot, I put water in the pot, I put some cinnamon in the pot, and then I, uh, you know, let that boil you a little. Um, just different things that I do to make the house smell well. And different things that I do that I think the insects don't like. I don't think the insects like that either. Not 100% sure. But I look like I'm on the beach, man. I get, all I get bugs I ain't never seen before, fam. I made a joke a while back that my food don't, my house don't have enough food to get roaches. Right? <laughs> and then I realized something. I was like, you know what? I might not have none of them shits because the other bugs might be eating them rat bastards. <laughs> I, I be seeing bugs. I don't even know what the fucking. I don't know what they are. They just totally new. But also, we're getting new bugs in America just in general. Remember that new bug that just came that um, that uh, mysteriously got here from China or Japan? Japan, pardon me. That's eating, killing all of our trees and shit. It is what it is. All right, we gonna head back to the crib, bro. Sorry about that, John. I didn't mean to hide you. That was, I, I meant to click on the, uh, the damn thing to see it closer. And when I pressed the damn thing, I accidentally hit the hide button. That was an accident. But yeah, I talk that shit straight into existence. I talk shit into existence all the time. Good morning, my brother. What the fuck just happened? That shit went all the way down to zero people in the room. They just messing with my numbers, fam. Now it say 65 people. That shit said zero people. 
Oh, what's up, my brother? That shit said zero. I don't know what he said. He was just yelling something. That shit said zero people. I was like, what the fuck, fam? Now it says 50. I, they just messing with my numbers. So I'm probably, like I said, I'm getting, I'm getting promoted. I'm getting promoted, fam. God has promoted me. All right, so I'm going to tell you a, a, a story that happened yesterday. So this, okay, so Coney Island has like a ton of, like, I saw at least three of them that I'm like, y'all could be in fucking movies, fam. I'm not even capping. I mean, I saw quite a few. There's more than three that are pretty, by the way. But three specific ones that I saw that I'm just like, these bitches is just dimes, just walking, walking around in fucking police officers' uniforms. In any case, so yesterday, uh, one of them spoke to me or whatever, but this isn't the first time she's spoken to me before. And she said something, right? And now I'm like, after I, I, I started walking home because uh, where she spoke to me at is just a lot of bad energy be over there. Like, it don't got nothing to do with her. So she spoke to me and she was talking to me or whatever. And I was in such a rush to get away from the fucking spot that I didn't realize, I think she was trying, I think she was hitting on me. Yeah, I think she was trying to pick me up. But I was, I was so busy just in a rush to get home. What's up, my brother? All right. All right. I was so busy in a rush to get home that I don't think I realized she was hitting on me. She asked me a stupid ass question that she obviously knew the answer to. That's how women hit on you, right? Shit, I be so dense, fam. I keep telling y'all, chicks be hitting on me. I just don't be knowing. Yeah, I don't be knowing. So I'm walking home. I get almost all the way home. And I'm like, oh shit. She could have been trying to pick me up. I was going to turn around. I was going to turn around and walk back. But I was like, ah, that's going to be tacky. <laughs> I was like, that's gonna be tacky. So I didn't do it. Sheesh. Morning. All right. She, I just don't be knowing no better. I promise you I don't be knowing no better. Coincidentally, she is the baddest of the fucking police officers. I'm not even, uh, by far. So I don't know, maybe she wasn't flirting with me. I don't have the slightest idea. And she asked me a stupid fucking question that she had to know the answer to. Isn't that how women flirt? I didn't think about it till after the fact. Super baddie though. Super, super baddie. Whew. If I was dating her, I don't know what her Instagram looked like now, but she would immediately be an icy queen. And that's not gonna go for any chick. Not every chick I date, I would make an icy queen. Put it like that, because you gotta you gotta read it, you gotta reach a certain metric. And that metric isn't necessarily a metric that I consider. I would date women that are not in that metric. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Just so we could be clear. She reaches that metric. Yeah, I would date women that don't reach that metric. What the fuck do I care? I'm more concerned about dating somebody that, you know, I could grow and improve as a person. Like, I'm more concerned about that. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? Like, I want to improve and get better as a person. Like, that's the shit that be on my mind. Like, when I think about how, you know, there's something that I'm not doing or something I want to do or I, I think about shit like that. When I think about shit like that, I think about, you know, how I could improve myself. Like, I don't... There's a reason why there's a lot of things I know how to do in life. Because generally speaking, whenever I want to do something, I go learn how to do the thing. You understand what I'm saying? I go improve. So I want to be with somebody that, I don't want to be with a nag, but I want to be with somebody that love me enough and observing enough that they can help me improve. I want to be able to help them improve too. You understand what I'm saying? So that energy, you understand what I'm saying? So I'm not really, that's what I'm interested in. I heard somebody say they're gonna shoot him. Damn, my ears are just too good. Probably talking about me. I think they're talking about me. 
Yeah, they're talking about me because dude was looking over here. So I don't care. I think people fail to realize whoever the idiot is that come kill me, don't worry. If you are successful, for whatever the case is, if you are successful, the police is going to be on you. Don't worry about it. So I'm not concerned. I'm 100% sure the person that kills me is going to get caught. So pull up. Do your thing. Fuck it. Get you and your whole, all of your people locked up in jail for no reason. Because I haven't did anything worth you needing to do such a thing. You solved my problem. Pardon me. Mm, you cutie. Yeah, you're going to solve my problem. So, you know, whatever. Yeah, so whatever. I'm not going to be upset. I promise you I'm not going to be upset. I've been looking at life as a transitory situation since I've been a child, just so we could be clear. So I've always looked at life as a transitory situation. Like we're here for a thing. And then after we finish doing this thing here, we're sent somewhere else because there's a different thing. You understand? So I've always looked at life like that. I'm fine with it. I'm like, well, whatever. Do your damnedest, right? What the fuck does it matter? In any regard. Uh, wait, you guys have a new tree eating bug out there. Is the city doing anything to address? Our mayor can't address the fuck. It, just so we could be clear. They should have already sprayed for this bug. Or at least spoke about the bug. So we are out here more actively trying to get rid of the bug. The bug eats the trees and is killing our trees. Okay, so that's causing a different type of problem. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so that's causing all different type of problems, just so we could be clear. The bug is eating the trees. Boom. So, New York City can't do anything. They're strapped for cash. Our mayor doesn't understand how to run a damn... Uh, our mayor doesn't understand how to physically run the, run the, run the city. So, what he did was... He went and he became too obligated, to a, too financially obligated to a situation that we don't even have the money for. Because they gave him promises. I promise you they did. I'm pretty sure that they promised, you know, the federal government. And I believe he spoke on this at one point too. I believe they promised to give a certain amount of support. Because, okay, so this is the way that I know it to be, just so we can be clear. Let me back up some. We're talking about the migrants. The way that I know it to be is all of the cities that take migrants were supposed to get a certain amount of money for the migrants in which they took in. So I think that's one of the reasons why uh, New York City specifically decided to take migrants in. What happened was when they started seeing that the money the federal government was sending wasn't enough to be able to take care of the migrants, that created more of a problem because, see, I don't believe, this is just my opinion, I could be wrong. I don't believe that there was an expectation that New York City was gonna have to fit the bill for the migrants. I don't believe that there was an expectation of that. But now that New York City has to foot the bill for the migrants, there aren't any money for that. There was never any money for that. That's why I guess, you know, and this is to be fair to the mayor. This, I'm trying to be as fair as possible to the mayor. Because what he did was stupid and it don't make any sense. But I'm trying to be as fair as possible. And this is also going off... Morning. All right. And this is also going off of information that we actually have. So I'm being as fair as possible to the mayor. I'm also not bringing up shit that don't exist. I'm talking about things that actually happened. Every city was supposed to get a certain amount of money for each migrant. What happened was the money wasn't being sent or the money was clipped or whatever the case is. So blame your president. Give me a second. I'm running the house. 
put this in. Blame your president. I promise you, monies were supposed to be getting sent to the migrants. I promise you. Blame your president. Y'all hear how I talk? Of course there's going to be some street nigga that's going to try to kill me. You hear how I talk? I got freaking common sense, fam. Of course there's going to be some stupid street nigga that's going to go do some stupid shit and going to take my life. You don't think I know that? Sheesh. A little bit of drizzling out here. This ain't bad, though. Um, speaking from experience, be careful with female officers. Of course, not all, but many are very controlling and have male energy. If you're an alpha, that situation is an ideal straight-up headache. Dude, I ain't, one, I ain't say I was going to holler, though. That's one. Two, um, I'm not going to say I've dated a female officer before, but I will say I don't think it's... <laughs> uh, okay, so... Women are extremely complicated, just in general. We don't understand them, all right? Boom, let's just say what it is. We don't really understand women. Women aren't necessarily for us to understand. Women are for us to protect, for us to love, for us to give guidance to, be leaders over. Uh, be leaders for, not over, leaders for. Because we're all together, we're doing the same thing. Um, I think there are women out there that obviously got a lot of male energy, just like there's males out there that got a lot of feminine energy. So yeah, there are all females out there that got a lot of male energy and even the thought or the assumption of being in a relationship with them without them being in charge is insane. But the truth of the matter is this. Um, women are biologically, it's a biological thing. Uh, wired to accept leadership from competency a lot of time men think they're gonna be the leader of a female because they bigger they stronger they're gonna threaten them they're gonna do all of this all you got to do is be competent fam. women are gonna follow competency you understand a lot of niggas just a lot of guys just aren't very competent i'm just saying what it is fam. if you competent your woman is gonna follow you she is not gonna have an issue with following She's going to take direction. Everything is going to be just fine. It's just a lot of dudes ain't competent. Just saying what it is, fam. Morning. All right. I'm just saying what it is, fam. It's competency. A lot of y'all legitimately are not competent. So when y'all get into a relationship with these women, in the beginning, they think you're competent, so they let you take the reins. And then you prove yourself to not be competent. And then the... Relationship goes down the drain and she's looking for somebody to be a leader. And then she leaves. I'm just telling you what happens, fam. You can take it however you want to take it. But if you're a competent leader, that woman is going to follow. And even after you and that woman break up, if you're a competent leader, she's going to stay in your life. 
she gonna she ain't gonna let you go too far because there's gonna be moments where she's gonna need help i promise you fam A man could literally be as down on his luck as he could be. But that doesn't mean that he's not competent. All that means is that the situations ain't been playing out right. All that means is that God's been telling him to slow down and wait. Sometimes God tell you to slow down and wait because that's the only way you're going to find your partner. Imagine trying to find your partner and you already rich as shit. You're going to come across more people that's trying to get with you for other reasons, then you are gonna come across people that's gonna try to get with you because they really care about you. You understand? So sometimes God just put you on hold because God loves you. So through that time that he got you on hold where you, and it looks like your life is going to shit, he really just got you on hold. So you could just, morning. He really just got you on hold. That's it. Because it's impossible for him to give you that woman that you need or that man that you need in your life if he improved your situation. That's it. That's all. This is facts, man. I'm just telling you what it is. So, nah. I don't care what position a woman is in. If you're a competent leader, she gonna follow. That's a fact. If you out here, good morning. If you out here, you an alcoholic. You out here, you got a drug dependency issue. What the fuck should she be following you for? You out here, you can't control your own emotions. Why should she be following you? Tell me where the lies at, fam. So go be competent. She gonna follow you. I don't care what her position in life is. I don't care how much more money she make the morning. I don't care how much more money she makes than you, nothing. I, most of the females I've dated in my adult life made at least four times the money I was making at that time. Almost every female, almost every female I've dated in my adult life. Almost every, no, I haven't got, I haven't, I haven't been dating socially on social media, no. But I have been I have been in relationships with women. You mad because I ain't tell you who they were? Why in the hell would I tell you who I was banging if y'all guys are stalking me? Y'all just trying to find out who I'm in a relationship with so y'all can try to destroy her IG? Morning, my brother. All right? So y'all can pull up to her IG and stalk her? You don't think I've been in relationships with women while I've been on Instagram? But you used to see me going out all the time? You thought I was going out all of those times by myself? Since I moved here, I haven't been seeing nobody because I generally just, you know, date somebody I see in my neighborhood. But when I moved here, the women were cursing me out and doing all types of weird shit. So I didn't get to meet nobody. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get to meet nobody. I moved here, they was just cursing me out and all types of other weirdo shit. So I just didn't get to meet nobody. Did you think the whole entire time I've been on the internet, I've been alone? You crazy? Shit. When I was staying in the high schools, I had a girlfriend, fam. Well, not a girlfriend, but <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I would have been dating somebody around here, but when I moved around here, all the women was doing was cursing me out and calling me a faggot and just disrespecting me like crazy. So I just, no, fuck it. I didn't say nothing to nobody. I didn't try to pick nobody up. Why would I? That don't make sense. And I got too much and just so we could be clear. Good morning. And just so we could be clear, I, I, I hold myself at a high high esteem and i don't like moving from one person to another i don't like moving from one person to another if i date you i want to date somebody that i'm not gonna i don't like moving from one person to another i don't want to be with somebody that i i don't i just don't do that that's how you catch diseases 
That's how you catch drama you don't need. I don't want to be moving from one person to another. That shit don't make sense. Also, why are you concerned with who I'm dating? <laughs> what the fuck? You niggas is weird, man. Do we got people in here that don't hate me? Do we get some, some people in here commenting that don't hate me, fam? For people that's never met me one day in my life, y'all seem to always talk about how y'all know everything I'm doing and thinking. And don't tell me, yes, my sister told y'all, because I only got one real sister, and I got, and no, none of them know me. Like, they know who I am. I probably don't, I've probably never even spoke to any of these people for more than 5,000 hours put together. I probably haven't spoken to these people for 5,000 minutes put together. Like, the whole entire time, th throughout the whole entire course of my life, I've never even spoke to these people for 5,000 minutes. <laughs> I don't know these people For anybody that lives where I live right now You should know I don't know these people Because I don't even go around anybody I don't know these people <laughs> They just pretending Like we're closer than we actually are So they could Win in other situations So they could pretend like they Jack Ross's baby um, Pretend like they Jack Ross's sister So other people will like let them in the door places and shit like that i don't know these niggas this is not cat i don't know these niggas the fuck i'm out here trying to keep everybody away from me because i'm pretty sure some street nigga gonna k shoot and kill me at some point over nothing so i'm trying to make sure i don't have no friends and no family i'm trying to make sure i don't got no people around me so I don't accidentally get somebody else killed over nothing. Like I know I'm gonna get killed over nothing. So no, I'm not trying to make a ton of friends. I'm not trying to hang out with a ton of people. I don't want that on my conscience. Imagine if some idiot comes, tries to kill me over nothing and then they go kill somebody I'm with. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to handle that. Talking from a real space. I don't know how I'm going to handle that. So when you wonder why I don't go around people that I do care about, that's why I don't. I'm like 100% sure some idiot is going to kill me over nothing. One hundred percent sure. I know that's the way that I'm going to go. I'm going to be somewhere, they're going to have some, they're going to believe something that's not true, they're going to kill me, and then at some point after that, they're going to find out that it was a lie, but it's going to be too late. That's literally how I'm going to go, fam. They're going to find out it was unnecessary, find out it was a lie. There's too many people playing the victim, doing shit to me, and then playing the victim for that not to be what happened to me. You know what I'm saying? People just like them kids at the park. Why you think I tell y'all about this shit? They were just starting trouble with me and playing the victim. That's it. Pretending like I'm doing shit I'm not doing. Because all they wanted me to do was argue with them, get into something with them, so they could go get somebody to kill me. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to get killed and it's going to possibly be because of them kids from the park. <laughs> I still come outside I still walk around I still do what I'm gonna do Fuck it But yeah I'm 100% sure That I'm gonna get killed By some street nigga For some stupid shit That don't make no sense 100% Anything else y'all wanna talk about Put it in the chat 100% fam One hundred percent. And then after it happens, the Satan satanic people, they're going to be laughing. And there's going to be people going to jail because of the lies that they told. And they're going to be laughing and they're going to be celebrating and hand clapping and all that other shit. And there's going to be some people that's going to be locked up in jail. They whole entire family fucked up. 
It is what it is. I'm accepting of it. God put me here to die. It is what it is. He put all of us here to die. I'm just here to die for a different reason. That's all. I've accepted my fate. Some black niggas going to shoot me over nothing at some point and kill me. I've accepted my fate. And I'm okay with it, just so we could be clear. I don't even have a problem with it. Maybe that's why God doesn't really want me to like being alive. I don't have a problem with it, I'm cool with it. Yeah, I'm cool with it, fuck it, right? Who am I to go against God's will? What else I want to talk about? Put it in the chat. But no, if you are, if you know how to lead, you shouldn't have a problem with no woman, fam. No woman that want a man. If she don't want a man, you're going to have a problem with her. The reason why dudes, you got to be able to be a good leader, fam. You have to be competent. A lot of people, guys, they, they want their woman to let them lead, but they not competent. They don't even have the capacity to lead. They don't have no dreams, no plans, no ambitions, but they want this woman to follow them. They don't have no nothing. They don't know what they're going to do. They don't have no dreams, no plans, no nothing. But they want the woman to follow them. They want the woman to be obedient. They want the woman to follow their lead. Come on, fam. I've been broke with no money. <laughs> and been the leader of the relationship that I was in. Well, that chick is out there making about 60000 a year, 70000 a year. I don't got no money, no bread. She making 60, 70, 80,000 a year. <laughs> I'm being generous. But if you know how to lead, a woman don't care. Niggas just don't know how to lead. That's all. Niggas be dick riding other niggas. Y'all be out here hating on other men and then wonder why your woman don't respect you. Imagine a woman respecting a man hating on another dude. Good morning. Is it true? Yeah, yes, sir. All right. What's your name? I'm Jack Ross, BBN Network. Imagine a woman respecting a dude that's spending all of his time and energy talking about how he jealous and hate another nigga. That's why your woman don't respect you. Woman, a woman who fall out of feelings with you because of what you doing, fam. What are you doing? Like on some real shit, like what are you doing? Sheesh. Like what, what is the thing that you're doing that's gonna make your lives improve in the next six months? What is the thing that you're doing that's gonna put y'all in a better financial situation in the next year or two? What are the things that you're doing? What kind of goals do you have set that's going to help you get from point A to point B? You don't have none of that, but you want the woman to follow you. You don't got none of that. You don't got no goals, no ambition, no drive, no plan, but you want the woman to follow you. And if she don't follow you, it's because she's a bad woman, not you a bad leader. Tell me where I'm wrong, man. Put it in the chat. Tell me where I'm wrong. Pardon. Tell me where I'm wrong. Put it in the chat. Y'all see niggas out here. They be having a wife. They ain't never had a job. They have been broke for the last 20 years. And they wife follow them obediently. Why? Because they know how to lead. Niggas don't know how to leave, fam. 
Y'all only too much jealousy out here, too much envy out here, not enough self improvement, not enough gratefulness. Imagine saying that you're grateful for the life that you have while you being jealous and envious of another nigga. How could you be grateful for what you have if you're jealous and envious of what somebody else has? You can't be. Tell me what I'm saying is wrong, fam. I'm here, I'm listening. Tell me what I'm saying is wrong. I'm here and I'm listening. I'm trying to say as many positive things as possible. They gonna kill me, fam. I might not have much longer to live. Maybe a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks. But they gonna kill me. Morning, my brother. All right. You don't think they... If, if these people are working so hard where they're calling every place that I go to try to eat from to get those people to treat me fucked up, you don't think they're also working hard to try to get niggas to kill me in the street? You think they just stopped at that? You think that's where they stopped at? Think that's where they stop. <laughs> what else y'all wanna talk about? Put it in the chat. If these people are, are making flyers up, good morning. Good morning. All right. If these people are making up flyers and stamping them around my neighborhood in order to get everybody to hate me, but you don't think they're trying to get me killed also? Come on, stop. Shout out to Justin. He the main nigga out here trying to get me killed. Shout out to Justin. Not a real shout out. So after they kill me, I'm just letting everybody know after they kill me, Justin is the main nigga doing the shit that they need being done. And I'm not talking to the police. The people that the people that I'm talking about know who I'm talking to. I'm not talking to the police. After they kill me, Justin is the main nigga. He in Seagate. I'm not talking to the police. I'm talking to some other people. He about this tall. <laughs> he got a fucking pervert mustache. I don't think he could grow a beard. He got one of those mustaches like he drive a fucking van that says free ice cream on the side of it. He got one of those mustaches. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. He has one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not talking to the police. So after them niggas come get me, it's Justin. He's the main nigga they got on the ground trying to get the people in the neighborhood to kill me. It's Justin. I'm not talking to the police. And I'm not concerned with the police getting to him first either. Just so we could be clear. Y'all been asking me about the nigga. Should y'all do something? Wait until I'm gone. At least for that. Wait until I'm gone. If I'm not here, they can't track you down. Wait until I'm gone. If 
If I'm not here, they can't track you down. What else y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat. I just don't want my niggas to go to jail, fam. I got people. I just don't want them to go to jail. That's it. I don't want them to put themselves in a position where they go to jail. I got people, fam. For real, for real. I'm not going to send none of my niggas to jail, though. If I'm not here, they can't, they, they, they don't even know how we know each other if I'm not here. They don't even know how we know each other if I'm not here. So shout out to that shit. Nigga, eat a dick. <laughs> I take that back. I'm trying not to be negative. I'm just pissed. You're... Yeah, yeah, I'm not so. I wait until after the shit. Look, yeah, because yeah, I don't want none of my people to get in trouble. I don't want nothing to happen to my people. I love my people. I'll take the bullshit. I'll go through the bullshit. I love my people. I don't want nothing to happen to my people. I'd rather just go through the bullshit and do the suffering myself. You understand? I don't want nothing to happen to my people. I love my people. I love my people. I don't want nothing to happen to my people. Come on. I don't got comments. She was fine. I was upset she didn't say hi to me though. <laughs> she was fine. I'm not gonna say nothing though. <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet. She was fine. Not finding in the police officer at all. Nowhere close. But she was fine. Yeah, I don't want my people to get in trouble. After I'm gone, nobody can't find you then. It shouldn't be that much longer. <laughs> These niggas is working hard, fam. It shouldn't be that much longer. What y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat. Charge. We oh, yeah, had 100. I'll take this out. What y'all want to talk about? I've been walking back to the house, going to the bathroom and shit. I don't got nowhere to really go to the bathroom. Are you? I had way too much coffee this morning. I think I had like three cups. I had like three cups of coffee this morning. I had way too much. What y'all want to talk about? Come on. Let me stop doing that. I busted one of these doing that shit. So I was doing. Ah, uh, y'all don't want to know. You probably do want to know this is a, a really dope story, but I'm not going to tell you. She fine. She ain't fucking with the police officer. She fine. She fine, fine. The only throw off for the police officer is that I think she's taller than me, and I'm not really into chicks that's taller than me, but I have dated chicks that's taller than me. I'm not gonna be like, oh, you told it to me. I don't want the vaginas. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> that don't make sense. Okay. Hey, good morning. Hey, Shirley. All right. What else y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat. 
I don't want to end the live early. Give me something to talk about. I don't want to end the, the live early. It's going on 11 o'clock. I am thinking about getting something to eat. Uh, oh, also, shout out to Kifu. Remember when we was in Kifu the other day? And I was like, yo, that peach pie is the shit. You know that shit went on sale the very next day? Shout out to Kifu. I, I don't know why it went on sale the very next day, but if they put it on sale because they heard me talking about how it needed to go on sale, I really do, that 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 is incredible. But if it just went on sale because it was time for it to go on sale, that's dope also. But if it went on sale because we was talking about it, that's just incredible. In any regard, in any which one of those sentences, I talked it into existence. But it's on sale now. Peach pies are on sale in key food. I caught me one immediately. And then I also just bought peaches. Because I like peaches. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. most likely got into a situation with the security and it's Dwayne Reed. I don't know what happened, but I do know this. Uh, so we, I think security guards need better training just in general in all of these places. And I think they also need better protections from the corporate also. But I think they need better training. Because I will say this, because I, I was a security guard for quite some time. So I will say this. Often one of the things that happen is when you first go up to somebody and try to explain to them that a thing in which they're doing can't be done, people don't usually take it well. So you have to have such patience when you're a security guard. I think that that's the number one thing that you have to have. When you're a security guard, when you're a police officer, when you whatever you are, you got to have such patience. The lack of patience is when shit go out the window. You understand what I'm saying? So. I've personally seen a ton of situations, personally myself, when I was a security guard. I used to be a security guard in, um, I used to be in, in the security guard, I used to be a security guard in Wards Island. I was a security guard in Wards Island. I was a security guard in Bellevue. I was a security guard in uh, a couple of other places also. So when I tell you, I see security guards that don't know, they don't have patience. So when they got to tell a person no, they don't know how to tell a person no. When they got to tell a person to move, they don't know how to tell a person to move because they don't know how to talk to people. You understand what I'm saying? Being able to talk to people, being able to convey your message in a polite manner is very important. Because a lot of times when you come up to somebody and you're a security guard and you're trying to tell them something, you know, they already feel like they're being oppressed. So you got to get through that. You understand what I'm saying? You got to be able to communicate through you know, whatever situations that they've probably had with other security guards and with other people of authority. So you have to be really high on your communication skills. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Hope he's okay. I don't know what he's doing. Anyway, so... Uh, when I was a security guard, I used to, there's a reason why I got promoted so often. There's a reason why, you know, I did really, really well. Um, I was really good at my job. And one of the reasons why I was really good at my job is my ability to be able to just speak with people. And I think often when people are security guards, they're so busy, you know, you got to deal with a lot of assholes in the day sometimes, depending on where you're working at. If you're working in a Dwayne Reed or store or McDonald's or some shit like that, you probably got to deal with a lot of assholes. I was working in a homeless shelter, fam. So I was dealing with a lot of people that had mental health issues, you know, or they just was in a bad spot in their life. But, you know, a lot of mental health issues. Um, fuck, I got the hat on, I can't let it get wet. 
fuck. So I say all that to say, with all fairness, it's not always the person the security guard is arguing with that's wrong. You know, sometimes these security guards just aren't trained very well. And the training needs to improve. And stop getting letting people be security officers that are directly speaking to the end. Like you got the dudes that they can't talk, but they're there to fight. I get it. But you have to have somebody there that can speak. Would the Eagles win today, G? I don't have the slightest idea. What up, Chewy? I don't have the slightest idea. Who they playing? Uh, no, they not, Frost. You blessed by the best. They just trying to bother you and get you upset. We'll see what happens. Uh, shout out to the Most High. I'm definitely blessed. And I've definitely gotten a promotion. I'm promoted as we speak. I can't wait until my promotion starts turning into actual finances. Um, I can't tell you about what my, how, how me being promoted has helped me because I don't want to sound like I'm bragging. So I can't talk to y'all about it. Um, and I also don't want these individuals to start attacking the thing that I'm being blessed with. So I can't speak on it. But I am being blessed, like, astronomically. I feel loved by God. How you doing today? Good? Yeah, I feel blessed by God. Um, real talk. I can't tell y'all about... I can't... I wish I could. Dope. The kids destroyed our basketball shit. I wanted to do some basketball stuff in the in the in the, in the community. I was talking to people about it. Uh, they wanted to know who I could coordinate into the thing. You know, they believed that I could coordinate. You know, some of the people from the community. But then once I start working on that, I told that y'all about that. I shouldn't have. Once I start working on that, those people went to the community to try to get all the people playing basketball to hate me. So now they just started giving me a hard time unnecessarily, so I don't really want to fuck with them. So they taking it as, oh, this nigga scared to come around. No, nigga, you told me I wasn't welcome. So why the fuck would I go somewhere where I'm not welcome? That don't make sense. I don't understand people. I don't understand people. Once you start laughing at me like I'm a joke and treating me like I'm not welcome, I'm probably not going to hang around. Where the fuck would I go somewhere like that? Why would you go somewhere like that? I'm advising you don't go nowhere where if that's the treatment. You don't go there. What the fuck? What the hell is going on? Like you don't go there. You understand what I'm saying? That shit don't make sense. So no, I'm not doing the tournament with the kids. I'm not doing the tournament. I'm gonna try to, we changed our direction. I already spoke to the people and we've already changed the direction that we're gonna try to do. And for the people that say that I'm lying or I'm capping, you literally heard the chief, not the chief, you literally heard the captain talking to me about it and talking to me about how they're, good morning, and talking to me about how they're excited about it. You heard the captain talking to me how they're excited about it, about doing it, you know, the possibility of doing it, hoping that it gets done. You've seen a couple of the other officers talking to me about it, about hoping it could get done, you know? But I'm trying to get it done. So now these guys, is, they're trying to convince the regular, you know, regular people that I'm trying to get niggas caught up with the police and arrested. So now I can't even get regular niggas in the hood that might be really good basketball players. You know, I don't feel comfortable asking them to come join. So now the only people I'm asking to come join, you're going to have to have a job. You're going to have to be working. You're going to have to be a regular citizen. Because I don't want to ask nobody that might not be a regular citizen because then people are gonna tell you I'm trying to get you caught up with the police. 
You might believe that stupid shit. You might believe that stupid shit. So, I already know how we're gonna do it. I'm not gonna speak about it again here because I, so people can't go try to sabotage me. But I already know how we're gonna do it. I spoke with the, uh, the, um, the dude that's behind the, that's a part of the putting the shit together. I spoke with him. We all agreed it was a great idea. I don't think you can get in the way of this, just so we could be clear. But that's what we're gonna do. Um, hopefully, give it about a year, two years, we could have like a real league going on. And that's the plan. The plan isn't to do a tournament. The plan is to have a league. And you know, stuff like that, you gotta give it a three year birth. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta give it a three year birth. So the first year, whatever we're doing, we're gonna be working through the logistics. Seeing what works, seeing what don't work. The second year when we're doing it, it's going to be where we have everything that we think is going to be the thing that could work. And by the third year, you should have a concise idea and plan for exactly what you want to do and exactly which metrics you want to hit. You're talking about a league. So, yeah. And just so we could be clear, when I was first approached, they approached me about doing a league for uh, adults, not kids. I'm the one that pushed the, doing the league for the kids on them. So, you know, they just was open to it because they was like, fuck it, that's a good idea too. But I'm the one that pushed, let's create a basketball league for the kids. I'm the one that was pushing that. You could, when next time I talk to the police officer, we could ask them. I was the one pushing, let's create something for the kids. They wanted a basketball tournament for adults. So fuck it, we gonna do that. Them niggas want all the kids in the neighborhood to hate me. Fuck it, then I won't create a basketball league for them. It is what it is. This ain't nothing that's gonna happen tomorrow. It's not nothing that's gonna happen next month. Like I told you, you gotta put like a three year birth on this shit. We gonna put some time, effort, energy. You gonna go get, try to get sponsors? Time, effort, energy. That's it. Remember, I'm trying to do shit. So they're contacting everybody to make sure nobody like think I'm so no so we can't get nothing done. And then they say I'm scamming after they go sabotage the thing. So I don't so it is what it is. I gotta go work with people that understand fucking liars. Shout out to the person doing that. So I gotta go work with people that understand liars. That's it. I'm a regular citizen. At some point, I might do some shit politically. I might. I might join some, become a councilman or some shit like that. Who knows? I don't have plans on doing that. But I'm not gonna say, oh, you know what? We hate police. I want all the police to, I'm not gonna do that. What the fuck? Imagine being a black person saying we got to hate all police, but also saying you don't like racism and bigotry. Think about that for a moment. Let's change the subject. But y'all, <laughs> that was funny. How you doing today? As soon as I turned around, <laughs> um, <laughs> long story. What did I tell you? They just don't say hi to me, man. Like everybody else, I say hi to and good morning to. They respond to me like like ninety percentile. With black women, it's like 40 percentile they respond back to me. It just is what it is, man. You're seeing it with your own two eyes. You talking about the fighting thing? My dude, I usually walk around at about 190 to 210 pounds. 
these last couple of years, because of what we're going through, stress and everything else, I'm down to, I'm, I'm, done, I'm like 30 pounds lighter than I should be. I'm not trying to get into no altercations with no people, fam. I'm not used to fighting nobody this light. I don't want to get in no altercations with nobody. I'm not used to even being this light. I'm not used to being this light. I can still handle myself, don't get it confused. But I'm not used to being this light. But I think God made that happen so I'd be humble. You understand? That's all. And if you knew me when I was bigger, you'll understand. Nah, if you knew me when I was bigger, you'll understand. I just think God wanted me to be humble. That's all. So God took away one of my biggest assets, and that was I was incredibly strong for my size. I still got a lot of my strength, but it ain't like it used to be. I was incredibly strong for my size. But I can get all that back. Literally, all I need is enough grub that you can just come back on game. What else y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat. We just bullshit. I would have walked home and turned the live off by now if not for the fact that it's raining. To be honest with you, because we just bullshit and we ain't talking about nothing. Morning, my brother. Morning, brother. Right. I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to get into altercations with people. I'm, I'm going to say it like this. I practice playing basketball more than I actually play. I'm like that with everything. So, I practice shit more than I actually do. We're everything. You know what I'm saying? We're everything. I've been out, I haven't been practicing a lot lately. Because I've been, you know, I've been a little down, a little sad. It is what it is. So, I haven't been practicing a lot lately. Uh, anything anything in general but basically i like to be alone because when i'm when i'm alone i can practice shit and people don't see how i'm incrementally getting better you understand what i'm saying so i don't want you to see me working i want to go work and then i just show up and i'm better at a thing you understand what i'm saying so i practice everything you know so so that's how i operate you know what i'm saying my dude, I be in my crib when I get, poor, get bored and I practice fucking flipping coins, man. I can hit shit from like 20, 30 feet easy. Good morning. Good morning. I can hit shit from like 20, 30 feet easy with a quarter. Easy. Bam. I, I practice shit like that. I practice flinging cards, man. I just practice random shit. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. All right. I just practice random shit. I just think of something that's super difficult. You understand? And I understand by me practicing that, I'm getting better at a thing. I might not even know what the thing is that I'm getting better at, but I'm getting better at a thing. This is just me applying the thing that I'm getting better at in actual, uh, uh, me applying that information. So, you know, so yeah. What's up, my brother? So I know how to flip coins, I know how to throw cards, I know how to throw knives, I know how to do all of that shit. And just sit in the house and I practice. I spend a lot of time by myself. <laughs> so I just practice random shit. I know how to use whips, all of that shit. 
I get a thing. I don't want to tell nobody about this because y'all going to think I'm bananas. Matter of fact, I'm not going to tell y'all. But yeah, I practice tons of wild shit that don't make no sense. That is not even applicable in regular, normal, everyday life. But I practice it. I think I want some Chinese food today. I think I'm going to get Chinese food. I'm gonna see if these guys gonna let me use their bathroom. Yeah, I practice it. Not a whip as, okay, so not a whip, but, okay, so I'm gonna tell y'all the whole story. Do y'all remember that movie, Mortal Kombat, the last Mortal Kombat that came out? Do you remember the last Mortal Kombat that came out? So what happened was this. You know that weapon that Scorpion uses? It's basically, like it's a gardening tool actually i believe with a, on the end of a a, a, a string a, a rope yeah so i made one good morning so i made one of those and i used to just like practice and work in that shit. and I, what i would do is i took some scissors and i tied some scissors to the end of the shit. and then so there from there i would practice being able to throw the shit, pull it back catch it like stuff like that you know what i'm saying like, <laughs> wow Good morning. I'm so good morning. How are you doing today, my brother? What's up? How are you? Good? Yeah, we on live too. But yeah, you can use button 619 for the one. Thank you. You wanna to talk to the people? I'm fine, I already got doing some money. Okay. Wait, you said what's the money? Appreciate you, the man. You're welcome. Hold on, here, there. Here, there. Here, YouTube, live. Let's give you this chapter. I'll be live. So that's the guy people were trying to make videos about saying that I was abusing. We had a misunderstanding. I came back and I apologized. I should have conducted myself better. I believe he apologized also. Uh, so he's really a good guy. He's really a nice guy. Just people tricked him. That's why I keep trying to tell y'all. I'm understanding when people trick you into thinking that something's not true. People just tricked home. You understand what I'm saying? That's all. They just tricked He's a good guy. Appreciate you. Right. They tricked a lot of people, so you gotta be understanding, you know? I'm really an understanding dude, you understand what I'm saying? Really, for real, for real. And he's a good guy. And that Popeyes is a good spot. Huh? Well, Shout out to nice them. That's a fact. She ain't lying. Because that rain that be hitting you and, and freezing, that's the worst rain. This is that rain you don't you could just walk outside and then go to the store real quick and then get back home and it's not a big deal. Damn G, that's wild if they if you can make someone like that and know how to use it correctly, I'm good to stay. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so that's what I was doing. So even if you come to my crib now, you'll see. Look at this nigga. He all the way across the street yelling at me. This nigga's a weirdo. That's Justin right there. He all across, he walking down. Justin right now walking down. What's this? Mermaid? He on Mermaid in 30th. He walking down the street right now with his dog. He cursing me out from across the street. I told you them niggas is weirdos, fam. I told you he a weirdo. He on 30th and Mermaid right now walking down the block cursing me out from across the street. I told you the niggas a weirdo. Niggas a weirdo, fam. You got like a black shirt on with a black do rag. I told you the niggas a weirdo, fam. These niggas is stalking me. I told you the niggas a weirdo. Niggas are weird, and the people. These are the people that the, That's the dude that's that's going up to everybody's kids. Him. 
That's the dude that's going up to everybody's kids. Him. Good morning. That's the dude following everybody kids around. Going up to people kids, trying to tell people kids to go start trouble with grown ass fucking adults. Now imagine if I would have turned around and smack one of them kids or, or punch one of them kids in the face. Now I got a problem with their family because this asshole is walking around trying to tell them to start a fight with me. That nigga! That nigga like this tall, fam? He like this tall, cursing at niggas. Because if I do anything to him, I'ma go to jail. What did the Indian guy do? I don't know what he did. What did he do? What Indian guy? What, in, what did the Indian guy do? I don't know what you're saying. You're saying he jacked the live. You like the live? I don't know what you're saying. You say he, he liked the live? He approved of the live? He said he fucks with it? Nigga Justin walking around trying to get your teenage kids to go get into fights and go fight grown adults, man. Because he a pussy and he don't like me and instead of him stepping to me, he trying to get your kids to have a problem with me so y'all come and have a, that's why I'm gonna die, cause of that nigga. That nigga gonna make sure somebody kids got an issue with me. So then the, those people, parents, now got an issue with me. You understand? That's why I'm not talking to the kids no more and I gotta stay away from them. Nigga walking out mermaid right now with his dog. He got a black, I think, a black t-shirt on with a black deck and do-rag. Bitch ass nigga. What kind of man? Can I just ask y'all a question real quick? What kind of man go get children to go fight his battles for them, fam? What kind of man does that, fam? What kind of man go get children to fight his battles, fam? And y'all think that I'm something wrong with me because I'm trying to avoid problems with everybody. This dude is getting people's kids to come and start trouble with me. So if I do anything to the kids, their parents is going to come outside and want to have an issue with me. And y'all wondering why I'm trying to avoid all confrontations with everybody. The fuck? So y'all just want me to be a crash test. Y'all just want me to be a crash test. Y'all want me to see the fucking manhole. Y'all yeah, want me to see the pothole and drive the car straight into it. What the fuck? Can't be serious. Can't be fucking serious. Can't be serious, man. What else y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat. But yeah, I had the thing. I still, I might show y'all because it's still because I had to use. The, I had to take the. I had to take the damn scissors off because it was the only scissors I got. So I had to disconnect the scissors so I could use it for some other shit. But I'm not going to lie to y'all. Almost when I first started using the shit, I almost cut my eye out. almost took my eye out like twice. <laughs> I, almost, I, almost, I literally uh, 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 damn near almost cut my hand open. I cut my hand one time. I almost cut my hand open a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> I almost cut my hand open a couple of times. I almost got hurt doing that shit. But then I got better at it 
and I and I started like, <laughs> so I'll set up shit and then I throw it at the shit and put it back. I was doing weird shit. Man. It was fun though. See, I do shit like that, man. Like that's how I entertain myself. You understand what I'm saying? I entertain myself like that. That shit was fun, man. I was gonna I was gonna show. That's why my um. So I was gonna. I was uh. <laughs> My, my um iPhone is cracked. I'm gonna tell you how I cracked my iPhone. So I had my iPhone on one of my jump offs like this. I think it was this one right here. And I and I was throwing coins at it from about this far away, right? About this far away, I'm throwing coins at it, bam, bam. And that's how I cracked the screen because I didn't know that the coin was gonna crack the screen. I had no idea. That's how I cracked the screen on my iPhone. Cause I wanted to have video of me throwing the coin and hitting the fucking phone. And then after I, I actually had the damn video, I was so upset that I fucking broke the damn phone that I didn't upload the video like I wanted to. So shout out to that shit. But if that would have, if that, if I wouldn't have cracked the phone, I would, I would have saw all the video footage because I made video footage of me fucking doing it. <laughs> Which I want to, Pancakes didn't even want to tell me, Indian guy jacked your live. What do you mean by that? That he said it with, that he fucks with it? The Indian guy's cool, man. He's cool. The Popeyes is cool. You know what I'm saying? The guys is cool, man. It was just a misunderstanding. That's it. People have misunderstandings, man. It's just a misunderstanding. Somebody else said a thing. I didn't see the answer. My, pro my apologies. They didn't let your answer come through. Your answer didn't come through, fam. That's all. My apologies. Do you write it again? It didn't come through. Did you see your answer? Because I can't. Sheesh. Can anyone else see his answer? Let me refresh. No, I can't see it. Also, also. Oh, he walked by recording us? I don't know. I think he's on the phone also. He's on the phone talking to somebody. He could have been recording. What the fuck do I know? But he's on the phone talking. Maybe he is recording. He's recording for those assholes. What the fuck do I know? But he was talking to his phone when I walked in there, so I assumed he was on the phone. Yeah, I assumed he was on the phone. Yeah. I don't care. I never understand why they send people to record me while I'm on live. The live is right here. I don't understand. Like, what do you, you think the people recording me from off, they're going to see some shit? Some, are they going to hear something that you not guys? I don't know. So now I'm debating. I might get the Chinese food. I don't know. I might get Chinese food for lunch. Which I think I should get for lunch. We're not even talking about nothing. And we fluctuating between 50 and 70 people. We're not even talking about nothing, fam. I'm just in here enjoying myself. There be days that the only reason why I get off of the live is because y'all not talking. Like we'll be like five out, like not five, like three, four hours into the show and I still be ready to go, but there be no body talking or nothing. So I just end the live. Oh, he said some things. He don't know the. You don't know his language. I don't know. Maybe he said. Maybe he said he, he hates me. I haven't. I don't have to slide slide. What the fuck? Maybe he said he loved us. I don't have to slide slide. He said it in a different language. Shout out to that. Maybe he told his people to watch. Shout out to Tunes. You said let's go Jets. Somebody offered to uh, let me watch the Giants game at their crib. We might. We might pull up, and if we do, I'm gonna go live.
I'm way nicer than I get credit for, I promise you. I'm just still pretty like a hard person. You understand what I'm saying? But I'm actually really nice and compassionate. I'm over here, I'm like, because, so I went to the Chinese food restaurant. I had Chinese, I, had, I don't generally eat Chinese food anymore. So I had Chinese food uh, for the first time in like maybe a year, year and a half, the other day. And you know, I hit the spot, it was enjoyable. Good morning. Good morning. I like that umbrella. Thank you. Okay. They send this to me from something about the nature thing. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Nature Conservatory. Yeah. That's very great. Thank you. They gave me three umbrellas. They gave it to the right person. Good morning. Thank Help you. Help her. Shout out to the people that. You know, I don't know what y'all going through in your everyday life. I know I assume everybody is struggling with some bullshit. But shout out to the people that, you know, could stop and, and, and acknowledge, you know, me saying hello. And for the people who don't, I hope things get better, if that's the reason. You know, I hope things get better. Whatever the thing that you're struggling with today, whatever the thing, whatever stresses you have in your life, I hope they get cleared up. I hope God comes into your life and shows, shows you, you know, who he is. I have those days too where I come outside and I just, I don't want to talk to nobody, you know? I just, when I have those days, I still got to talk to people, you understand? Because of what I do for a living. But I have those days where it's just, it's, I'm having a difficult day. It's a rough day. I got a lot going on. You know? I have those weeks. I have those months. You know what I'm saying? I don't have the carte blanche that most people have with me. Where, you know, you want to escape so you can go home and escape. I don't have that. I do social media for them. When I'm when I'm having a bad day, you know, I can't even take off. I can't do nothing. I gotta just. I still gotta come on live. I still gotta go. I wish I was financially doing well enough that I could take a week off when I needed one. I could take a break, you know? I wish. But I don't, and it is what it is. And this is my life, and it is what it is. I wish, you know? Come on. And in addition to that, I also got to be in a good mood. I have to be happy. You know, most people don't have to be happy while everything is going wrong, you know? Most people don't gotta be happy while everything is just being fucked up. But I do social media for a living, so when everything is going wrong and everything is getting fucked up, I still gotta be happy. I still gotta come on here and I gotta fake like I'm in a good mood, I gotta fake like everything is great, I gotta fake 
And I'm not, not good at that. You know, I'm not fake being, I'm not good at faking being happy. I'm trying the best I can, you know? It is what it is. Good morning, my brother. Good morning. Now, it is what it is. I'm not complaining, by the way. Just so you don't, I don't want nobody to get that message. I'm not complaining. It's all good. My life could be worse than this, man. I could be the niggas that's thinking about me all day. I'm very happy I'm not dope. I would way rather be myself than them. I could be somebody that don't really have any chance of getting into heaven. I don't want to be that person. When I think about people I don't want to be, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm not thinking about, you know, people that can't walk. I'm not thinking about, you know, deformities. I'm thinking about, I'm. At least I'm not the people who can't get into heaven. At least I'm not the people that, you know, are, are wishing bad on other people. I'm, I'm happy that I'm not those people. You know, I'm not saying I wish, I'm saying I'm happy I'm not those people, you know? Yeah, but a lot of people don't have to fake those, those, those smiles in public, you feel me? I gotta publicly. And you know, that's why I don't, think, you know, support is ever going to come back to the platform, because I might never be able to even get into a position where I'm, I'm sincerely happy, you know? I'm, I might never be able to ever, again, be in a position where I'm not depressed. Like, y'all have been seeing depressed me for the last two years of YouTube. Like, I'm depressed, man. I've been depressed for the last two years. That's clinical depression at this point. I don't see it turning around. I just see it as my life is just going to keep getting worse. That's what I see. Morning. That's what I see. Yeah. This is what it is. Not complaining. Explain it. I'm not even sure I don't want those people to kill me, to be honest with you. To be honest. I'm not really against that. Yeah, I'm just being honest with you. Like, from a real standpoint, man. Anything else y'all want to talk about? My fault. I'm not trying to. You know what I mean? Anything else y'all want to talk about? Give me a topic. Let's talk about something. Anything else y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat. If not, we might get ready to start making our moves to get up out of here. We have four hours. I don't really got nothing I want to talk about. Torres family. Somebody says Jack. I'm assuming I know who you are. I'm not going to kick you. 
please don't be somebody that you could just talk to me personally, but you're gonna bring it onto the internet and create a situation where I have to talk about something I don't wanna talk about. Yo, Frost, you heard about the rapper from Vegas who got himself indicated in a murder charge because of his lyrics. You're talking about the idiot who killed the dude and then made a rap talking exactly about how he killed the dude? You know how many dudes do that? A lot of these dudes do that, man. A lot of these dudes are talking about real murders that actually happen that other people committed. You just don't know that they're doing that because they just go arrest the other guy. And the police never, the police, okay, so I'm gonna tell you something that the police, what I believe the police are doing. I'm gonna tell you what I believe the police is doing. Listen and pay attention. Let's say, I'm a rapper. Somebody's a rapper, not me. Somebody. Have a blessed day. Thank you. Let's say somebody's a rapper, not me. They make a rapper about an actual murder that happened. They didn't do the murder. They, j they didn't do the murder. The police is watching all rappers that is involved in gangs. So what happened is the police are looking for where lyrics is lining up with real life shit. So you just talked about a crime. You're talking about a crime that somebody else committed. They go lock that nigga up. Now he get busted. But they don't say that they got their information from the rap music because they don't want that rapper to stop talking about real crimes. They just reverse engineer the bitch and figure out how to get you caught up without using the rapper's lyrics. And then that's what they use in court. But the real reason why you in court, the real reason why you caught up is because that rapper was busy talking about a crime that you committed like he committed the crime. Boom. Happens all the time, man. Literally all the time. All the, It happens enough that I think some rappers literally work for the feds and they know what they're doing. That's how often it happens. And I'm just gonna be quiet and I'm not gonna talk to you. Not on that, but we could talk about, um, I, think so, I think some of these rappers is doing that shit on purpose, man. It happens, it, it happens a lot, man. We don't, why do you think I don't wanna cover snitching no more? Why do you think I only talk about snitching sometimes? Why do you think? I come out here and start telling you which these rappers I think is snitches. That niggas not gonna fuck with me no more. Y'all gonna, cause y'all love them niggas. Y'all love them niggas. Y'all not gonna fuck with me no more. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna think I'm hate. Y'all love them niggas. Aaron Daniels says why he's locked up over his transmission. I don't know what transmission word is supposed to be. He got in another altercation how? Fighting or he got in another altercation he was doing sex stuff with a man? Which one are you saying? Which one are you saying? I don't know which one you're saying. Which one did he do? If you've been locked up for if you've been locked up for five or six years, come out immediately, do a crime, and go back to jail. You gay, nigga. I don't care what nobody says. you come out and immediately go back to jail. You gay, nigga. It is what it is. I'm not mad at you. You can be whatever you want to be. You don't got to tell nobody. It's your your history. I don't need to know. I'm just telling you what I think. I remember just regular jail. Good morning. I remember getting effed up, having to go to regular jail. And the whole time I'm in there, I'm trying to figure out ways to make sure I don't come back here. You can't tell me how you're going to go to jail five, six years, prison. All right? You in prison five, six years. And then you come out and you, you go back to jail, go back to prison in a matter of a, like a couple of months? Nah, nigga, you gay. Your lover's in jail. Whoever you married to, they locked up. You're trying to get back to him. That's all. That's all.
Let's say what it is. That's it. I'm not hating. Is what it is. What else y'all want to talk about? Put it in the chat. But the dude that made the rap and he's getting locked up, he deserves to be locked up. Y'all niggas is getting away with crimes, and then y'all, but y'all don't want to get away with you. Everybody needs to know you committed it. Pardon me. Dog, I've interviewed people and they want to come on my platform and they don't want to talk, they don't want to talk about nothing except for their crimes. GMB says jail is worse than the streets. All they do is talk street politics and jail. That's a fact. No re rehabilitation. That's a fact. People are just in jail on the waiting line. Good morning. Good morning. People are just in jail on the line waiting. And they come out and they go right back. They're just in the waiting line. That's it. Now it's warm. At least I think it's warm because the weather affects me a lot different. I think it's warm. The shit burn their conscience so they got to bring it up. I think it also just has to deal also, 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 also. I'm not saying in, instead of, I'm saying also. I just think it's that niggas want everybody else to know that they bad and that they tough. It's hard for a lot of real niggas out here that got a big catalog of shit that they did, but they can't tell nobody. So people either think they're a regular nigga or people think they pussy. There's a lot of dudes out here like that. Niggas think they a regular nigga or niggas think they pussy. And then niggas got a whole discography of shit that they done did out throughout the world. Niggas got stories. You could go you could go places and niggas got whole stories about niggas. About some incredible shit that they done did. You just don't know that because they don't tell nobody. They keep the shit to themselves. That's just the way it is, man. Good morning, my brother. All right. That's just the way it is, man. You'd be surprised how often that happens. A nigga be the realest nigga in the world, but everybody on the block think he a pussy because he keep his shit to himself. <laughs> I grew up in a home that didn't have a uh, heat most of the year. So the heat don't really bother me. Like being cold don't bother me often. But I have a situation right now that sometimes it affects me because I got to go have surgery. So I do have a situation right now where uh, my body isn't as strong it generally should be, you know? But if I go get surgery, I'll be just fine. It's not a illness. It's not a virus. It isn't nothing like that. Uh, what time is it? I think we're going to start making moves. I'll be right back to this app. I need to do something real quick. Take one second. If you get kicked, come right back. All right. I hope too many of y'all didn't get kicked. We're about to walk to the store. Right, it depends on how much money they're going to, this, this ATM is going to charge me. The ATM is charging me too much money to take money out. I'm not going to use it. Hold on, let me see how much the ATM right here, Charles. Told you, them niggas just follow me around yelling at me from across the street. This shit is crazy, fam. And then as soon as I go over there to the door, he gonna, like, you know what I'm saying? So these people are actively trying to start trouble with me and they wanna call the police on me. That's different from what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I'm not out here to argue with nobody. I don't want to argue with nobody. I don't got no beef on none of you niggas. 
I don't want to argue. Oh, there's no ATM in here. Don't Dun Dunkin' Donuts usually have ATMs in the bitches? Did they remove it? Anyway, I'm not trying to argue with nobody. That's what I'm saying. These niggas is out here trying to get into arguments with me so they can have a reason to call the police on me. I'm saying I don't want to argue with none of you niggas. I don't want to fight with none of you niggas. I don't got no problem with none of you niggas. I'm not trying to disrespect y'all or none of that. But if y'all pull up on me, you're going to deal with the police, not me. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying something different. Them niggas is trying to start all the problems with me, trying to have all, trying to start all the problems with me, trying to have all the beefs with me, and then if I say anything to them, they're going to call the police on me. You understand? It's a totally different situation. I want peace and harmony amongst all. Let's see how, how much they can take or charge me too much to take money out. I ain't going to go. But other than that, we got to have some fucking... I don't really jerky or eat Chinese food stuff, but I had some the other day, and I do miss Chinese food. I don't get this confused, but I don't never have cash in it, so I don't never buy it. I got, I know one we could go to, they allow me to get take 10 out. We're going to walk down the block. I don't carry cash. I have no intent on carrying cash ever. I was carrying cash the other day. I was super surprised. Yeah, I don't know. 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 I don't carry cash because I drop money out of my pocket all the time. Like, I used to lose, uh, especially when we first started doing YouTube. Um, even before we started doing YouTube, because, you know, I've, I've, I've had pretty decent jobs throughout my life. Um, so I used to always lose money. Like, it just falls out of my pocket. So I used to hate uh, carrying cash. So even, like, before I got YouTube, uh, before I started, like, primarily using a credit or a debit card, I would never come out my house with any real money. I would only come out my house with like twenty, thirty dollars at the most. <laughs> so anytime I so I'd have money, but you know I would never come out the crib with no money. Uh, I'd have to literally, if I wanted something, go stop at a bank. You understand what I'm saying? I just didn't carry it. it just it didn't make sense. All right, so we're gonna walk. I want some Chinese food. Good morning. All right. I want some Chinese food. She's very... Her shoes is lit. Her whole outfit. See, that's what I'm talking about. But we come outside, we could you could dress nice without looking like you fucking a slut, fam. I don't get that. Can somebody explain to me why so many women, not trying to knock women, this is, you know, just asking. But can somebody explain to me why so many women think they can't be beautiful unless they show them most of they most of their asses hang unless they ass is hanging out? Can somebody explain that to me? Because I don't understand that. I'm just asking for clarification. I'm just asking for clarification. I don't get it for all due respect. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Cause she looked at nice as shit, and she was like fully clothed. A lot of times I see women that look nice as shit. Ah, and the eighteen is only a buck twenty-five. Hold on. Oh, pardon me, I get on. Give me one second. This fails. This thing is something else. Because the other one, they didn't have tanks. They only had... Two, but the first one. 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 Two, but the first one.
два часа вообще не будет. Два дня. А потом три. Два часа. Два часа. Два. Три, четыре уже будет. А потом опять будет. Три, четыре, пять, восемь, девять, десять, девять, ну, ночь будет. Also, also, whoever owns, we make sure that they don't shoot out no receipt. I always say no receipt. Also, also, whoever owns the ATM inside of the Chinese food restaurant is an idiot. Why would you have an ATM inside of a Chinese food restaurant that don't dispense tens? Like, what the fuck? That don't make sense. It's a fucking Chinese food restaurant. People are going there often so they could save money, right? Do you understand? I mean, I get it though. You, you don't want to waste the room inside of the machine that you could put 20s in instead of 10s. I get it. But if you put 10s in, all you got to do is come to the machine a little bit more often and you probably still make more money because you're going to have more transactions. Does that make sense? I guess it's just a different business model. You're working off of the business model of, you know, as many sales as possible rather than selling at the highest point possible. So I, it's just a different business model. I guess it works either way. What the fuck do I mean? I'm just talking about the thing that would be more convenient for me at the moment. But it works both ways. Maybe he tried it the other way and it didn't work out the way he wanted it to work out, right? What do I know? I'm just upset I wore this hat outside knowing that it was gonna rain. I should have wore my Yankee hat. That's the hat I usually wear when, it's, when I know it's gonna rain. I usually wear my Yankee hat. All right, let's go get some Chinese. No idea how much it even costs that I'm about to buy. But I'm not gonna spend over 10 bucks. That's all I know. This is a supermarket type shit. I might start going there. Generally speaking, whenever I wanted some chicken, I go to the Popeyes. Right? Uh, what I plan on getting is four chicken wings with some beef fried rice. That's the plan. Beef. Four chicken wings, beef fried rice? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything. I like all of the vegetables. Wait, is it more money? No. Ah, yeah, then bring it on. Yes, sir. How much is that? Okay, let's go. I never know how much anything costs, by the way. <laughs> Let's try to set up where we're not disturbing anyone. And now I don't have to hold the damn thing in my arm. Now I don't have to hold the thing in my arm. But they do need to put tins in this machine. How y'all doing today? Excellent. But they do need to put tins in that machine. Because remember, we came to this machine first and then we had to walk all the way down the block to the other machine. So, you know, I would hate for somebody to think I was following them when I was here actually in this building first and I just literally had to go to the other ATM because this one doesn't give tips. <laughs> in any regard, uh, Jet Lee says some crazy earthquakes been happening around the world and bad storms see with the most night after that Burning Man festivity and the day after the Eve festivity in Brooklyn. Wait, 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 The Burning Man Festival had the tragedy happen after that happened. That was the Brazil situation. That's when the lightning also hit the statue that they have up there of Christ, right? They have like a statue of Caesar Borges that they say is Christ, but obviously it isn't because that's not what they describe in the Bible. So we know that that person isn't Christ because in the Bible, Christ is described and Christ is described totally different from the imagery in which we're generally given. Um, so yeah, that thing was hit with lightning. 
But also, these guys got a weather machine, fam. I don't have a free, the free ATM for me is like a mile away. There is no, my bank ain't over here. Have a blessed day. My bank ain't over here, fam. For me to walk to the free ATM, it ain't over here. But that ATM is only a buck 25, so that's not bad. It wasn't about the free ATM or the not free ATM. I just needed an ATM that could drop a 10. Yeah, I just needed a 10 to be able to be dropped. Sheesh. I mean, I get it. But I wouldn't be able to date her, but I get it. I ain't gonna lie, I be seeing bad shorties outside, I be like, damn, shorty's bad. But I be seeing the way she dress, and I be like, see, that's not gonna work if I was dating her. So I can't date her because I can't tell her not to dress that way. <laughs> not gonna work. Shout out to Kendra. She was so uh, conservative. What the fuck is that there for? Shout out to Kendra. She was so conservative. She was good. She was really conservative. Boom. Can I get ketchup? On everything. On everything. As much ketchup as possible. Just turn the top off and just like take it. Yes. Now we gotta walk through this rain, get to the crib. Alright, we walk through the rain, get to the crib. I guess we'll walk straight. She's like, you're not going to make my stuff fall down. Uh, Good job. Because <laughs> that rain will screw y'all up. Yes, man. Let's walk. Is there a bus coming? I'll jump on the bus. Especially since the bus guys just let you get on and shit. When you just go. It won't even be like two stops. We'll walk. Um, what are we talking about? Should I go up the other block? i go up the other block. I keep it too. Come on, man. Turn. We're gonna walk this way. Alright, morning. Let's walk this way. You wanna know why I could never get it, why I don't get addicted to nothing, especially shit like weed? I'm gonna tell you why. Because I think cravings are unnatural. So whenever I crave for something, that makes me think that there's something wrong with it. So let's say everything with the exception of food. If I crave for something, I'd be like, man, there might be something wrong with this shit. So that's the way I think. Literally. So whenever I'm thinking, oh man, I want something, like I crave for something, I'm like, nah. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cut it out until I don't want it. And then after that, I'll make a decision about whether I, you know, I'll fuck with it again. I gotta cut it out to the point where I either forget about it, forget that I, I fuck with it, or forget it exists. Some shit like that. And then after that, I'll be like, all right, all right, all right.
I used to eat Chinese food every day. So the best, my favorite Chinese food, obviously, because it's what I grew up on. Uh, you know, most of my Chinese food eating like that is, pardon me, is this Chinese food restaurant across the street from, uh, on the west side of Concourse Village. Now, I trust this, this Chinese food place more than any other because that's where all of the judges eat over there in, um, the, at, cause it's next to the courthouses. So a lot of judges eat over there. A lot of lawyers eat there, you know, police, a lot of them eat there. So that, that Chinese food restaurant has to keep its cold up. Like they got to make sure that they do everything right. They can't be dirty. That's the Chinese food restaurant I grew up on. I used to go there damn near every single day. I used to go to school, come home from school with $2. I could go get two chicken wings and some fried rice. So I used to come home from school every day, take my $2 and go get some fucking chicken wings, two chicken wings with fried rice. If I had, uh, how much was it for, uh, if I had $3, I could get four chicken wings with fried rice. So that's what I used to eat every single day after school and go straight to sleep. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Have a good day. You also. Thank you. Say bless. Thank you. So that's what I would eat every day after school and shit. In high school and, and a lot of junior high school. Most of high school and a lot of junior high school. Just come home. Go to the Chinese store. I got two, three dollars. We'll give me some chicken wings and some fried rice. Plain fried rice, by the way. Because that was a dollar. Chicken wings was 50 cents a piece. I should use the slap, man. I get chicken, I get fried rice or I get french fries, you know, depending on how I was feeling that day. My friends used to make fun of me. My friends and my, my fam, like my cousins and shit that was like our age, they used to make fun of me because I didn't used to smoke weed at that point. And I really didn't hang out and shit like that. I stay in the crib. I'm studying shit. I'm working on shit, stuff like that. Like I'm doing projects by myself. They outside, you know, playing, running around, enjoying themselves, having a good time. It is what it is. Good morning. Podcast? Pardon me? Podcast? Yes, ma'am. Vlog. Have a good day. So... Uh, yeah, so they'd be making fun of me because they outside smoking, drinking. You know, I didn't start smoking till I was about 17. They outside smoking, drinking, and shit. And I'm spending my money on food. So they used to always make fun of me. <laughs> so they used to make fun of me all the time. Sweet and spicy. I like General Sal's. But General Sal's chicken is like something that I eat very seldom. Because I like it a lot. But, you know, after I eat but so much of it, it's like, oh, I, I can't stand this shit. So General Sal's chicken. And you know, uh, that's an American dish. Anyway, that's a whole other thing. You know how many of these Chinese food restaurant things that we go to the Chinese food restaurant and get are actually dishes that was created in by Americans are actually American dishes, but we think they're Chinese food restaurant dishes. That's why when you go to the Chinese food restaurant and you see them eating their food, they're never eating the food they serve us. Because a lot of that food they serve us really isn't Chinese food. It's really not food from China. It's food that they sell in America now in the Chinese food restaurant. Just so you can get on the game. Don't believe me, go ask a Chinese person. That's why when you go into the Chinese food restaurant and you see them eating their lunch or whatever, they don't they usually aren't eating what we eat. They eating some shit that ain't even on the menu. If you didn't know. Yeah, they be eating shit that ain't even on the menu. That's why. Yeah, a lot of that shit ain't even... What's the other thing that's not even a... 
forgot what it is. It's like a, a, a egg dish or some shit. I forgot the name of it. I forgot the name of it, but it looks disgusting. And it's not even a Chinese food dish. It's a fucking... Some shit they created over here in America and decided to sell in Chinese food restaurants. It's not even a Chinese dish, man. I don't even think that... I think some of them shits was literally created by Europeans and Mexicans. I mean, European and Americans. Man, you don't know. Like, I used to literally just absorb information. So why a lot of these dudes was outside, you know, getting involved in whatever, I took breaks. Some days I was outside getting involved in the bullshit. Other days I was upstairs, you know, learning some interesting shit, you know? Balance, man, balance. But what it, what it was probably more than anything else is before I moved to Concourse Village, I lived alone. So there was just days that I needed my own, in it, my own, to be by myself. You know what I'm saying? There were just days that I needed to be alone. That's all. You know, I was just feeling like overwhelmed with some shit. You know what I'm saying? It was just too much going on. I need to spend some time by myself. Whenever I feel like I need to spend time by myself, I go be by myself. It's that simple. People, uh, my, my family sometimes thought that was weird of me and shit. Because niggas will all be having what they consider to be a good time. You know, I just get overwhelmed. It's just over sensory. I don't know how to explain it. But I just be, you know, overwhelmed or whatever. So I go spend some time by myself. I go pick up a new talent. I go pick up a new skill. I go practice something. You know? Learn something. If this world goes to shit and we lose all electricity and we have to go back to the stone age, I'm going to be fine. <laughs> That's all I can say. If we have to go back to the stone age and live in the woods, I'm going to be fine. A lot of these people ain't. A lot of y'all favorite people ain't going to be fine, fam. I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be just fine. Build the fire. Know to build, fi build the fire. Uh, make an axe. I know how to make an axe. <laughs> um, make a hut. I know how to build the hut. You gotta, that's why I said the thing about the axe first. I'll be perfectly fine. And if that happened, I'd really be isolating. Because that's when people are going to start killing other people for resources. So I'm going to really be isolating if that happened. I'm going to go disappear. Y'all niggas ain't going to never find me. I'll expect shit to turn into the fucking walking dead world. Where it's just humans trying to destroy other humans for resources. You know, like what real life is. <laughs> but I'll be fine. Fish, more the fish. I just don't really know how to hunt. But I do, I, I, I've, I haven't actually um, actively made traps. But I do know how to make traps. A little bit I, like i haven't actually did it but i you know did research on making traps to catch small animals so i might be able to catch a rabbit or two in a trap or some shit like that i'm gonna be fine fam all these other motherfuckers super badass niggas this world go to shit Y'all niggas is gonna be out here trying to figure out how to make shit happen. I'm gonna be somewhere self-isolating, staying the fuck away from everybody, eating <laughs> and everything else, being just fine.
Anyway, I'm gonna let y'all go. Everybody enjoy y'all day. I'm feeling weird about a thing. We're gonna find out about it later. But I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm feeling weird about a thing. Everybody enjoy your day. Go do something great out there today. Stint God's name on it. Don't be ashamed to let people know that you love the most high. Don't be ashamed to let people know that one of your goals and one of your missions in life is to help his word. Don't be ashamed of that. People are going to try to make you ashamed. And when you're not ashamed, they're going to try to destroy your character. That's just shit you got to live with, man. It's just that's what it is. And that's how it goes. With that being said, I love y'all. I love y'all. Everybody enjoy y'all day. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification game. Hashtag Grown Performance. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. Gotta take these fucking wet ass clothes off.